Marcus, digestive. Marcus, kuja hapa. You got I'm like Martin. Like, Josh. Josh. Nah. <laughs> Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> when you're using words in an interview in a, in a boardroom and the senior person doesn't understand the context. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think the strategic direction you're taking is a bit insurmountable. Yeah. <laughs> like, Shoot I truly. agree. Yeah. <laughs> people who've been putting in the work mm. and like the my work EP is coming to out yield. soon. My oh EP God. Is out soon. <laughs> so, so, no. <laughs> <laughs> so very soon, yeah, my EP, my EP is coming out. Kilo minimum. <laughs> 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 Over 26. This is the This is the Brunch Club. Over 26. The mics are genius. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. What up, my name is Chaxi V, you mastermind. Your main guy, the Lord Chaxi, the beautiful Mariah is around. The amazing Moss is around. The whole gang is around. Episode 56, we are Mike Check. <laughs> Yes, and of course, it goes without saying, the amazing, the beautiful. Hey. Mm. The Queen. Queen is here. Yeah. Yes. What's up? Hi. Hi. You look amazing. Hi. Swaggerific. I'm, I'm, lo- I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow. Is it, I'm, I'm part, is, it part, is it part of the hoodie? Am I, it's like yeah, a, it's part okay. of the hoodie. It's part of the hoodie yeah. We took out the sleeves and then uh-huh. we invented these uh, sleeves, you know, just Damn. to add a little bit of, you know. Only Bavoni. Only Bavoni. I have some hoodies. My bad idea. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Is it so, is it is it hard to describe yourself? No. Okay. So who is Mudoni? Hey! <laughs> That was so smooth. Oh, exactly. Tuna taka zote, tuna taka title. Tuna taka this is Mudoni the person. Um I had say I'm the creator becoming. Mm. That is the summary. Of Ish. who is uh, Mudani, love the work. creator yeah. in becoming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Yeah. yeah, but it sounds a bit philosophical. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just a little bit. It does. Just a little bit. So, is that is that like if um if you are describing yourself to a little kid, is that what you tell the kid? Yeah, I would say that um, everything is a creation. It's mm-hmm. it's it's your. It's what you it's what you imagine. Mm. You know, you are the inventor of your reality. Yeah. And you have complete authority to create mm. what you would like to experience. Mm. And it's innate to you, it's who you are and um uh, your imagination is the key. Okay. Yeah. And uh, a belief that it can be done because it's a knowledge that you are you are the creator you're an extension of the creator mm. you know um so you're all powerful you're all knowing uh just tune in and then flow nice Honest, I'm going to need you to cut that out. To me, your sound bite, Nico, and it's a killer song. You know, like how I thought about it, you know how influencers like usually are doing things on the mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be such a nice audio bar. That's a sound bite to keep a cut to deal with my shot. When you're leaving the house, you know, when you position the camera outside. It is. You talk and you talk and you talk. It was so articulate. Bro, Kwanza flow. Love it. Flow. I mean that's why you're, a, you're an artist. I think you 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 it's easy for you to find the right words to express True. something. Mm. Truly. Just through your music, True. other things. Yeah. yeah. It's not that easy. But I also think it's not exclusive to artists. Mm. This is for everybody, you know, mm. like we all are the creator. So the way I see it or my understanding of this whole thing, whatever mm. we call source, god, universe, mm. whatever mm. is an ocean is the ocean like the visual for me is mm. an ocean mm-hmm. and then me <clears throat> I'm a wave in the ocean mm. yeah. and you're a wave and you're a wave and we are all mm. waves in the ocean mm. you can't distinguish away from the other that's a reality we true. are undistinguished from who we are mm. and we are undistinguished from who god is true you know um and as god is we are <laughs> and that for me I would say has been the revelation of my life and then everything stems from there mm-hmm. right yes. so um i would imagine that god is the fullness of imagination mm. so i am the fullness of imagination so any time i spend in any kind of imagination i'm tapping into that which i am you know yeah, but anybody can have that it doesn't matter the profession yeah. an accountant a guy yeah. farming his potatoes um, <laughs> yeah. the kikuyu you just came home <laughs> 
was going to say. One of the I'm going to tell you the, the two things. Accounting is money. And we saw what they were going to put in there. Uh, I wanted to say a guy who cuts pigs' toes. Then I was like, uh, what? Oh, Jesus Christ. Pigs don't even have toes, do they? They must have toenails. Yeah, they do have toenails. They must have toenails. Yeah, like you do. Like, yeah. I'll go Google it. I'll you know, so I was like, that's too much. <laughs> that's so a lot. That's how I landed on potatoes. <laughs> no, you, don't, you need to host a masterclass on how to answer questions. I did for sure, bro. I feel like if I was interviewing you for a job and I'm like, who, who are you? Uh-huh. Creator becoming. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Can you start today? <laughs> tell, us <about laughs> your, tell us about your job experience. I'm the ocean in the way. Thank <laughs> 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 Why this job? Please call me the CEO. <laughs> You're replaced. <laughs> Uh, let me Shout ask you, as, like, yeah. as a creative, do words come easy for you? Um, yeah. Okay. But that's a gift I've cultivated over the years. Okay. Actually, my I think my dad caught it early. Mm-hmm. So when we were young, mm-hmm. uh, my dad, like, books. Mm, wow. So I read from really young. My mom was a teacher. Like, mm. yeah. Yeah. And my dad then, was a teacher as well. So did you have books around? And were you, was that cultivated? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <arguable>. Okay. <laughs> no, but I think it's because he passed on when yeah. I was still young. So ah, I don't okay. really remember yeah. a lot. But I'm yeah. sure there are books. Yeah. I'm yeah. very sure. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a thing for us. And then um, my dad would do this thing like, on Saturday, mm-hmm. analala kwa couch, unapewa gazeti, usmame hapo, sa wendyo, TV presenter. So <laughs> many. Oh, wow. Exactly. So my dad's on who taught, mm-hmm. taught us how to read a newspaper, like how our story starts on page oh, one, page three, like, like yeah. Okay. So you read for him the news and he's like, you know, you're the news presenter. So I think from quite early, I picked yeah. reading words, vocabulary, mm-hmm. um, uh, I was in debate club, public speaking. So it's a thing that I've okay. cultivated over the over years. The years. Nice. Um, so I'm grateful for it. But I, I also feel like this is a thing that everybody can cultivate. Yeah. Like, just being able to present your thought yeah. is sometimes half the battle. Yeah. You know, being well-spoken mm. sometimes just gives you so yeah. much access. People That's just true. like, you would give me the job on the basis yeah. of my yeah. answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 literally. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a life hack. Mm. Being well spoken. You know, is a life so hack. many people who are talented in many ways, but yeah. as young girl. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And exactly. there are so many people who are bullshit at what they do. Exactly. But you say and I was Just like Kanye is is bad with expressing himself, mm. but he writes great mm. music. Mm. Amazing. Mm. And he's an is a, is a, mm. an, an amazing artist. But you're talking about growing up, right? So I've um I've been. Okay, we go very hard on ch- on churches on this podcast. Okay. <laughs> but we understand why they exist. <laughs> yeah. And we have respect for anyone who believes in what yeah. they believe in. Yeah. But we, we go hard on churches. Yeah. <laughs> so, By we, he means 70 we, yeah. <laughs> Actually, 98%. <laughs> yeah. You guys are just like, oh. <laughs> we. But like, <laughs> but like, 1.5, 0. Like, 0.5. Like, <laughs> <That's about laughs> like, for instance, like a lot of people yeah. who are successful with from Kenya, mm a lot of them have a strong foundation from church. Mm. Mm. Did the church play any role in what you became? Yeah, for sure. Mm. So I was raised very Catholic. Mm, same yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. He, he stopped believing even before he realized he's Catholic. Hey. At the point that he's Catholic, he's like, no, sorry. I'm out. Opt but, I, out. but I was born in a Catholic family. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. Let's see how many things me. you have in common by end. Okay. Podcast, Fantastic. Right? Cool. Yeah. So far, so far two. We're keeping far two. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. So I was raised Catholic. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess, like, when you're raised in Catholic dogma, the idea of, like, God is three but one. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's a thing that you learn really early. Yeah. And that's a really philosophical thing to grasp. True. Um, so I think that's, you know, it helped, like, incite my curiosity. Mm. What does this mean? Mm. Um, I learned how to drum in the church. Nice. Oh. Yeah. To just stay awake. You know those drums? Yeah. Just to the music. <laughs> 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 Exactly, percussion. Okay. That's where I learned how to drum. Um, I think another thing, I really enjoy, like, the, I don't know if you've ever been to Holy Family Basilica or, like, you know, churches or that, like, basilica level. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's yeah. a there's a grandness. There's yes, a, yes. 
the je ne sais quoi. Yes, the... Yeah, <laughs> but also like when you're in the room, like by yourself, there's it, it can really yes. inspire yes. a yeah. sense of wonder. Truly, you know, with like the divine. Can you imagine being inside Basilica high on shrooms? Oh God. First, the I colors. can't wait to be high on shrooms one of these days. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I've not yet done no, that. In the church, you can't go to the church. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. No, think about the, the, the shiny it mirrors, be, yeah, the colors. But also the colors. Like, yeah. you know, go to the Catholic it's church wild. has lots of yeah, murals. There's it, lots of yeah. art. There's lots of art no. in like the... That on shrooms? I'll follow you guys. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll document. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, like yeah. in the in the... Yeah, I could imagine in the, in the yeah. traditional, you know, sort of Catholic, there's mm-hmm. a lot of art. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. There's a sense, a spark of a sense of wonder, mm-hmm. and it it made me early have a strong consideration mm-hmm. for this idea of deity mm-hmm. and God. Mm-hmm. You know, then when I was 17, I walked away from it all. I was like, peace, eight out. Not just yeah. Catholicism. I was just like, like Christianity. I'm yeah. like, no, do says, bro, like. Yeah. Did you, did you struggle with it? Amelie was just cold turkey. Um, Is it something you thought about? Like I think in that year, mm-hmm. in that last year of uh, form four, mm-hmm. I would say I started to lose my religion. You, okay. that's when people gain their religion because you're trying to pass <laughs> your exam, <laughs> bro. You're right. You're getting yeah. form four on Then after you're and you, you're losing. So that's the third thing we have in common. Oh, you lost your religion in form four. Yes. Oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Deeply, yeah. Three, three. Years. Okay. Three things. So, far, so good. Yeah. yeah. I started, but I started losing my hand like in form two. Thank but you. Form four is I, was, when, I was waiting for you to say that. You but form four, four is when, when you acknowledge was, that like, you've lost yeah, it. Yeah, form four yeah. is when I was like, it's super clear for me. Yeah. This okay. is not a path I think works for me. Yeah. 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 And so at the point, so mm-hmm. because it happened like over a period of time, mm-hmm. like I watched myself in that year just being like, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. I don't buy this. I'm No, I'm not motivated by the fear. Mm-hmm. If the point yeah. is be good so that yeah. I don't go to hell, like, no, yeah. it beats the point. No, yeah. I don't believe yeah. it is, and no, I'm not. I don't buy this. I don't mm. buy this theory. I don't buy the chaos. I don't mm. buy the. I think I lost the fear, mm. Mm. and so I was like, "What else is God? If there is, if fear is not an yeah, apart from yeah. fear, what yeah. else? Yeah, you can't incentivize me with going to hell or you don't love me. All of those things. Mm, Next, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. I think for a lot of people, they're still in religion because of the fear. True. Yeah. A lot of people question, but then they're like, don't question Ooh, God. Don't question God. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Which should have been our first red flag yeah. that yeah. <laughs> the whole, <laughs> this whole thing is premised here, bro. on being yeah. afraid. <laughs> Therefore, it can't be that, yeah. like, no, fake news, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but even, even just to, um, I think also the other thing, maybe why the church plays a big role, especially mm. for creatives, is because the church already has structure. There's like a choir, so if you like, yeah, yeah. you can enjoy. That's true. That's, yeah, small. that's facts. That's yeah. facts. Church that's really true. is where I developed singing. Yes. Yeah. yeah, because choir, choir is some of the best free training you can do mm. in your life. I mean, you pay and some of the best singers as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You learn how to sing in harmony. Of, yeah. The discipline of just like keeping your voice going. Mm-hmm. A choir is always, all the time. The I'm always saying to singers, if you can't avoid for voice classes, just join a choir. Join a choir. Just yeah, join yeah, a yeah. choir. Just sing those yeah. choir songs, those set so those set pieces. By the time yeah. you've done like two years of yeah. like that, you'll have built your ear and like you'll have built the discipline because yeah. rehearsal yeah. is a thing, you know. Yeah. And the only downside yeah. is horrible outfits. <laughs> Mommy, I've never yeah. seen a, I've never yeah. seen a swaggy choir. Like, <laughs> oh, South Africa, South African choirs, Luke. Yeah, can, 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 can you not gonna can you not put this here? Can you see a case of mangoes and maroons? But then the Soweto choir. Oh, that's nice. Too South African choirs, the Italian one, the Kente too. Yeah, yeah. I think another thing that I got at the Catholic Church was a um a sense of service. So the mm. the Catholic Church has like mm. lots of like committees, like a truth and justice yeah. committee. Mm. So like, truth yeah. Truth and justice. Yeah. yeah. So in the, in the 90s, when people were fighting, you mm. know, former late President Moi for multipartism, the Catholic Church was very, very instrumental. It was yeah. such okay. a big voice. Mm. Um, so I, I kind of like that. But also like there's very many places in Kenya where the Catholic Church is the government. They're the school, they're the hospital. Yep, true. Um, my folks have always been involved in kind of the charitable stuff. My mom has, you know, for years taken care of like... Um, other able people in the community, old other able people who don't mm. have. So this idea of service and that there's a world outside yourself, that mm. one I really saw enshrined in the mm. Catholic Church. So that's something I kept, yeah. for example. Yeah. Just the whole, uh, you know, other dogma, like mm. scary God. I'm like, bored, mm. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Miss boy, me with that. Miss me with that. I think when yeah. the, 
the first time, okay, no, the th- the time when I was like, oh shit, now mm. I have to pay attention to more than is when Nainia who dropped. Ooh. Nainia, 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 for me, yeah. I was actually going back to school and yeah. for some weird reason, and this one, I'm going to go here, was playing and I was leaving. So I'm like, who is Nani? But I'm going. So they came back, I'm like, oh, so I'm like, this chick I saw on some drums. I was telling my brother, I'm not the video you're drumming. Is it the video where you're in white and drumming? Like in a red top. Yeah, in a red top. Oh, is this babe? My name is Mudoni Jamba. I'm like, how young were you? You're saying you're going to school? Yeah, I was like high school. Okay. Yeah, I was in high school as well. Yeah. Because I remember it was a Sunday and I was leaving Kwenda Shule when it popped up on the TV. And I'm like, oh God. What's that? Yes, I'm leaving. Do you ever find out that? Do you ever find the answer to that? Nine and He's doing everything he wants to do. Period. Apart from apart from cleaning it, running it, apart from everything else. Wow. But but is there a thing about Nairobi that specifically inspires your art a lot? I'd say when I was younger. I really felt inspired by kind of the hunger, the hustle, yeah. the, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Nai is a hard stone that you can sharpen your knife against. Yeah, sure. You know, Ni, yeah. it's hard. So if if you don't crack, it can really like, yeah, it mm. can really reveal the diamond in you. Mm. Yeah. Shambhala Mawe. Me, I'm just Shambhala loving Shambhala Mawe. Yeah. Vocabulary. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. So, yeah. Th- I, when I was younger, I really enjoyed that. I liked that energy and that sense. For years, I've had that sense like it's just about to pop off. It's just mm. about to pop off. So, yeah. I really enjoyed that. Now, I would say not so much, mm. you know. First, you know, I, I, I feel like I've finished that part for like the hard work, the granite. I'm like, no, 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 no. Now we're okay. Now we're in another energy. Yeah. yeah. Now it's ease. Yeah. Now it's costing. Yeah. yeah. Now the ocean can carry me. You know, I'm yeah. just, yeah, I'm just a wave. Enjoy. Fun. Mm. Lightness. Mm. So because of that, I don't identify as strongly with Nairobi okay. anymore. Okay. Mm. Are you one of the guys who are planning to leave Nairobi? I don't think it mm-hmm. would be um, practical for okay. the things that I'm doing because okay. so much of the creative community that I'm connected to or working with is here. Yeah. I mean, I suppose you could find the balance, but I don't also yeah. think that's useful. Yeah. My family's here. Yeah, okay. I have, you know, a super fresh still baby. Yay! So the connection to... <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing we don't have in common. <laughs> To your knowledge. To your knowledge. To your knowledge. The baby becomes the youngest person to you be know. mentioned on mic check. Yeah. <laughs> officially. Yeah, officially. <laughs> but so, congrats on my own family. Thank you, yeah. So because of that, being connected, Shushu, Auntie, Tata, mm. everybody's here. That makes sense. So those, those become sort of the anchor points. True. Um, my ideal, which I, you know, is in the process of becoming, is I think I would... The ideal circumstances for me is to have multiple bases. Mm. So places that I can oh, work okay. out Escape, of, yeah. be, be where you're needed, yeah. right? Mm. So if I'd love a Paris or Amsterdam base oh, for my, you know, European stuff, and then mm. I'd like like an LA base for mm. my American America stuff, stuff. and then sense. I'd like multiple like bases in Africa. In Nairobi is uh, anchoring, but you know. South Africa for South sure. Africa and the Kigali. West somewhere. Yeah, Ghana Ghana is South Africa and yeah. Kigali and yeah, yeah possibly Ghana. Yeah. So just to be at home in many places, Places, yeah. to be where I'm needed yeah. according to the thing that you're doing at that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I, I like that, like over the years, the detachment from Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you mentioned um, your young baby now, right? So being a new parent, is there anything that um, having a kid has taught you about yourself that you're probably not very cognizant about yeah. before? Hell yeah! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. First, I want to say you don't know and you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> it really reveals things. In the early stages, it's yeah. hard. Your ego is going to be screaming at you all the time mm. because it's completely disruptive. Mm. Completely, completely. It's 
incredibly inconvenient to have a child. Like, mm. whatever. Or you, you're napping. Good for you. <laughs> Look at me. Me, I'm awake. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> and I need the attention. Bro, and I don't even know I'm awake, but here we are. <laughs> and I only communicate in one sound. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So you work it out. Work it out. Even, you know, like, oh, the beginning is the ghetto. Crazy. I can imagine. Yeah. So you will see your ego a lot. Like, you'll be mad. And then you're like, no, what are you mad but, at? Like, like let's yeah. Yeah, like, let's mm. be real. What you're really mad at is because you're inconvenienced. But, yeah. like, this mm. is a whole entire person who's just going through their life. Yeah. Like, okay, mm. now they're awake. Yeah. They need their ass wiped. They, they need, need some food. They need to yeah. be bapped. Like, everything is such a disruption for the child. They've never seen light. They don't Plus know sound, smell. Yeah. Bro. So, you're mad at what? You know, so you start to catch yourself really, you're mad because you're being inconvenienced mm-hmm. because there's a way that you like to do things. True. Where your life should be, and now this other person is having their life experience. Yeah. And so you catch, yeah, you catch yeah. a lot of ugliness. Your mm-hmm. ugliness comes up a lot, mm-hmm. a lot. Um, like that. You're being impatient. Why aren't you sleeping? Because you, you need, you know, this yeah. routine, three hours up. Three. Yeah. And it's like, but you know, Singizi. The yeah. same way Pia won as a cosa Singizi. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 Like, yeah. Like, Like, the the existential threat to their life. You know, yeah. like, mm. like, so when you think of it also as mm. animal kingdom, mm. like, you rely on your understanding of the scenario, like, yeah. to know what's happening. Are you mm. in danger? Like, existential danger. Like, yeah. children haven't picked any of those signals. True. So, ah, yeah, you'll see. A lot of so your cool. ugliness will come up and, like, facing those parts yeah. of yourself and yeah. being like, yeah, you could be a thousand percent less selfish right now. Mm. Then you start, you know. And then now you catch that thing even in other things. The yeah. way your behavior, your child is just like triggering that part mm. of you. Yeah. But now when you catch it, you catch yourself in other things. You catch yourself being upset with colleagues or upset uh, with, I don't mm. know, the your wuchi boo. or your boo. <laughs> and you're just like, damn, look at how my ego is always driving things. Yeah. It's always me, 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 what I want, how mm. I want, when I want. Mm. Truly. So I think it makes you a better person yeah. if you're present to it. Mm. Mm. Nice. Do you plan to have the baby when the baby came? I would say <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 okay, I wouldn't say just you know what I mean? But if you, you know, if you're having unprotected sex, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What this do you is think is every, be? every round is going to be a disruption. Like there's a possibility, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> And then, you're not planning for, but you're not planning again. Yeah. So, ay, ay, ay. Checks me scared. <laughs> <laughs> Loud and clear. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to Maybe just to build on that, I yeah. think I was never the person for yeah. like, oh, I just want to be a mom. I, I okay. was never that person, mm, okay. right? I yeah. had a really clear sense that. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I want to do in this life. Oh, I want yeah. to be in this lifetime. I want to do in this lifetime. Mm-hmm. And the first person I had to attend to was, was you. Mm-hmm. And um, so at the moment, at the point at which in my early 20s, like at 21, at the point I made a choice to be an artist, mm-hmm. I also opted out of other things. So I'm just mm-hmm. like, n- it will never be me. I'll never be that babe who's mm-hmm. like having a Ponyox baby by anybody. Forget that. Mm-hmm. Like, no way. So already in my mind, I had postponed the whole conversation to yeah. after I've done like this all music the, all the thing. thing that yeah. to be aligned for yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Discover that or have a sense of who I am. Mm. Then I also always was of the opinion. So I grew up in a really solid, good, loving home. Like mm. my yeah. dad and my mom were so good to one another. Mm. So it also, f- over the years, felt to me like there's nothing about a child without... Who, when, who is this mm. person you're having the child yeah. with? So in my head, I was always like, you know... So you yeah. meet that the person. Dude, yeah. Mm. The dude also counts. Mm. Then after you meet the dude, you're, build, you're building yourself. He's building himself. It's just like, it you're just didn't feel together, tiny. Truly. So I think maybe when pandemic came, I had just had the conversation with him for like, bro, if your mm. ovaries ever hurt, you better tell me. Because if you wait yeah. for me, <laughs> me, I don't know if my I'm ovaries will ever hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if my ovaries are ever, you know, gonna hurt. I was already at 35 when I was having this conversation. And it's important because you're in a long-term commitment with somebody. That's a thing. That's Mm. not a... Like, if you're with somebody who wants a child, that's not an insurmountable... That's not a surmountable 
thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you can't wish it away. So mm-hmm. like when I look at my friends who, for example, want children, where there's that dissonance, will we, we, you're like, oh, whatever, and the other person is really like, like, I really, I really want. Really want that's, not some, that's, the, that's not something that you can wish away. Yeah. Or like just ignore. Mm. That's a, that's a that's actually in some situations a deal breaker. It is actually an interesting. It's a deal breaker, people, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I had to be like, hey, my boo, <laughs> well, okay, why you feel like mm, a boo bring the topic? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Like, you know, I'll have to you have to be like, otherwise, me niko turo ro you about you and the left name. Ah, you know, you know, you know, you know, you um, and I think now at pandemic, I, it was the first time in my life, mm-hmm. in my career, since I started chasing mm-hmm. this thing, like when I was 21, that I got a chance to like, Ebu, mm-hmm. what is life? Evaluate. What mm-hmm. are the things that you believe? And I started to ask myself, what could the fullness of life be mm-hmm. if you weren't like, yeah, if I think also because there was a construction in my head that it's either or either you can have uh, the music career or, or you can have like a family, yeah. a family yeah. and so then that was the first time it was like we examine some of those things, fundamental true. beliefs. Where is that coming true. from? Where is that lack? And then small, small, you know, just entertaining a small thought like, hmm, if I had a baby with my boo, it'd be so cute. My boo yeah. is so amazing. I'm yeah. like, oh, having a mini boo, <laughs> a, so a little cute. one, having a no, no, it's but amazing. nothing, just like to your, you know, high yeah. level. Like yeah. that was already too much progress in my head. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then yeah. I just, yeah, small, 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 small. The thoughts mm. at a at a general level mm. became palatable. And we had a holiday at the beginning, or I think of 2021, and like we were just playing, like what could a name be? Like what would be cool baby names? Yeah. Oh, oh. Ah, okay. Oh. You know yeah, I mean? That's, that's ah. manifesting. Ah. When well, you start asking the name. Yeah, yeah. now let me tell I you. Oh. 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 Wait, let me tell you. Thank Jesus, I didn't know I was manifesting. <laughs> <laughs> because if I knew, I'd have been like, bro, bro, bro. Yeah. Hey, chill, 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 yeah. Yeah. chill, 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 chill. So yeah. the name you chose is the name you gave. I mean, that changed. Yeah. So yeah. when we tested names, mm-hmm. but we said like kind of different names. Can but I ask, I... how are you testing this name? There's an app, there's like, an app what... called Baby Name Generator. No. <laughs> like, okay, for me, I have this thing where like I'll think of a name. So I'll be like, let's for say, babies. yeah, like I'll be like, let's say, <laughs> yeah, let, me, let, me, let, let me think of a random name, <laughs> like right. Jalina. Like I'll, imagine my, I'll imagine myself <laughs> shouting this name. I'm like, this is so oh. cute when I shout it. No, that's not a cute name. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, that's my, that's Marcus, my test. Kujapa. <laughs> I'm like, what? Nah, like, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I'm, I'm actually very curious. What's your test? How did you test that um, <laughs> So first we were chill, you know, yeah. you're on holiday, so you're chill, yeah. right? Mko mko zenu, mko mavela, mko mkoshe. I enjoy it too, mko chill. Then you, I don't know, I even don't know really why that was a thought, mm-hmm. right? And we just said, sort of saying names, you know, just mm-hmm. speaking names, what's a cool name, what's not. Mm-hmm. Um, but I remember when I said Manjano, mm-hmm. it felt... And you're wearing it. You're actually yeah. wearing Manjano, yeah. nice. Manjano, yeah. 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 Nearly feel ne- a lightness. Mm. Like, Literally. yeah, yeah, like gold, like... Crown chakra energy. I don't know how to explain. It's like it was like a golden light beaming. Yeah. I said, like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my boy's like, Yeah, and that's a fire name. I'm just saying, if the, if the kid ever so grows up to do music, <laughs> me and I'm part of stage name say, Man like Jano. <laughs> ah, I love it. <laughs> Love it. Ten years from now, if I'm bumping to music, it's more like Jano. We're like, yo, run me my money, <laughs> bro. Yeah. That's my intellectual property. Like check, my <laughs> yeah. So let's play uh, a game, right? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna give you four names, mm-hmm. but we need five names. Mm. So you'll fill in the last name. You'll decide who the last person is, right? Sour. But I read out a name, and then you tell us. Any cool story or anything that comes to mind about these people? Okay. Ready? <laughs> so I'll give you four, then you'll give us the fifth one. Okay. Uh, Nyashinsky. The goat. Definitely. And this Definitely. Is the goat. Definitely. The goat. The goat. Nyashinsky is uh, his excellence. I also think that there is something... Those 10 years, you know, like I've had him talk about 
those 10 years he spent like in the states yeah. when you was they were so successful here they were happy they were really living the dream right yeah. and then circumstances flip and there you are like driving a, truck, a trailer yeah. you know for hours and hours a day in solitude and in aloneness and i wonder if i the image for me in my head is kind of like um the story when the christ took himself to the desert mm. like for 40 days yeah. There's things like, I think in that wilderness of 10 years that mm. must have transformed for him at a soul level. That's mm. true. So I also don't really think of Nyashinsky in like music per se, oh, but okay. kind of like mastery of being. Mm. Like he's a mm. he's a master mm. in making. Okay. When, so when I re- yeah, I really think of Nyashinsky. When did you as last goat. speak to Nyashinsky? Um when the album came out. when That long ago? Yeah, when like... See, you, you, he's literally yeah. performing at an event. But you haven't even heard like, like the man. Him. <laughs> I don't get a management. Nah, nigga, this <laughs> system. I know, I don't know. I know that is, but I'll be like... Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> so, that's a thing. That, yeah. That's a thing that I would never... Because, again, I think of Nyashinsky at master level. Yeah. And that's not... That's not a person that I would think to just uh, pick my phone and be like, hey, yeah, Jim, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm very okay. thoughtful yeah. okay. uh, about my interactions Before you make with move, him. I like mm. that. Yeah. I, I'm very thoughtful about the interactions with mm. okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh Karun. Ooh. I think Karun is the leader of the new school. True. Definitely. Definitely. True. Karen is Lauren's baby. True. Ooh, she is yeah. actually. Yeah. She's yeah. Lauren. She's Lauren's yeah. baby. Yeah. And um, I think that's a true star. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the journey that she's taken because the evolution I think, is yeah, madness. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the continuousness of the evolution. True. Um, yeah, I think because also, I think she's also a healer. I think she the is. music mm-hmm. is for healing. She purposes. is actually, yeah. She is, yeah. That's why I think she's a child of Lauren. I think it's more than the mm, music. Again, true. Karen is one of those people where I think it's more than the music. Yeah. Yeah. I have so much respect for her. So do we. Bien. Bien. Bien is Beyonce. <laughs> oh, he is! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Bien is Beyonce. B. <laughs> B, yeah. yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, everything he thinks and more will mm. happen, f- is happening and will happen for him. Nice. Yeah. And I think it's critical that Bien succeeds. True. Um, it is. For the music yeah. industry. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think he's, he's critical. True. Mm. Yeah. But I think it'll Oof. be, yeah, it's more than what it's, yeah, everything he thinks is going to happen and more. Mm. Yeah. So for him, my hope is that there's some systems that are built because that's also a very heavy burden to bear. Mm. I think it's a heavy burden for Chiki to bear. Mm. Yeah. She's held it down for five. Yeah, because the other side of success is very nasty. Mm. Yeah, it's heavy. True. It's things. It's lots of things. It's lots of things, you know. And a couple who work together. We we actually were talking about that with B. And I said, mm-hmm. I hope you go and sit with Eric Koinaina and Shiba Hurst. Mm-hmm. It's not all couples who can truly ride it through. To, yeah, to way. do that That's work so... in this industry, to bear somebody else's dream, mm-hmm. you know, to carry somebody's vision, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, which is, you know, what she's doing, what Chick is yeah. doing now in management. Yeah. That's yeah. a really that's a it's not it's not for the faint hearted and so for them to talk to a couple who've been through it just mm. to acquire some tools because yeah. you know that's, that's you can't know what's going to happen in life but just some tools to know to how get to you through the journey to get, yeah to get yeah. through the journey yeah. because i also think it's really powerful it mm. can be really powerful if you find your partner who can be your partner in life in business in everything mm. yeah it's just one and the same you know yeah. what i mean okay. yeah but without the other person losing themselves to your in journey your, the exactly yeah. So, or yeah. feeling like they've forsaken their dream for you. For yeah. 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 So, yeah. Okay. Beyonce, definitely. Nikita Kering. Oh! Nikita. <laughs> first. <laughs> <Just look up. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your face. Sunflower. <laughs> Your face too. My face too. Yeah. 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 Um, I love Nikita so much. One of the things about that is I feel she's come up in a time where the internet has allowed her, no, has created the space for her to exist in a Kenya that would have told her she didn't belong. That's true. 
Right. So like when we were on our come up, mm. the people that we had to convince were the radio folks mm. and the producers. And one of the pieces I was told consistently is, you know, MDQ, it's not Kenyan enough. It's not for mm. Kenya. Kenyans okay. can't hear a thing like this. Yeah. You know, and you know, in years, many years later, I understand. No, but I don't, I don't really feel that anybody meant that meanly or hurtfully mm. or to hurt me or to tear me down. Mm. I think people were kind of just looking at the circumstances. Mm. And because so much, so many of us believe that what we see is the reality, yeah. you need another, you need to know other things to, you need another set of knowledge. Yeah. Mm or exposure for you to know that what is, is just one version of what is possible, True. Okay. right? It's not the limit of what's possible. Mm. So, I imagine if Nikita had come up, so mm. the equivalent, the yeah. maybe not equivalent, but can I say a forerunner of Nikita would be Sage. True. Mm. Right? Crazy incredibly, yeah. incredibly talented, incredible songwriter, yeah. incredible everything, yeah. mm. but Sage it for many years, True. the shit off. You know, this is very nice, but easy to Kenya. Yeah, Maybe you need it's to not like, the sound. You know, it's not the sound, it's not the language. Mm. It's mama, zaza, zaza, zaza. Nikita has grown up in a world where, you know, like literally you, you can take your music to Instagram and your fan. Yeah, because you listen to it. You'll find your, your, tri- you yeah. find your yeah. tribe yeah. right yeah. from the drum, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So for that, you know, um, I feel excited for her that she didn't have to begin at a point of a... Proving or no, chip mm, on the shoulder, yeah. trying to work your way. to prove like, a point. Bro, I'm true. dope. My people mm. on the in, internet tell Think me so I'm dope. Too, yeah. So, so it's, so it's, it's, yeah. it's actually interesting you've mentioned that because I feel like now music is being made more for the culture than like for... Because music is culture and commerce. Yeah. Mm. Um, Kitambo, those conversations, are when people say it's not Kenyan enough, they're basically saying it won't make us as much money as we think it mm. will yeah, make. True. So every time you make art and then they put a price tag on it... But now people make art just because make, they want to make yeah. art. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that's the best of making yeah. art. Yeah, yeah. and that, thank, thanks to the internet, yeah. I guess. Thanks to the internet, yeah. for yeah. real. For sure. Yeah, streaming platforms. Mm. Disrupted yeah. everything yeah. completely. Yeah. Yeah. So those are four names. So mm. the fifth one is up to you. <laughs> and it, it can't be MDQ. <laughs> <laughs> you know MDQ already. I know. <laughs> yeah, who's the fifth person? It doesn't have to be a musician, by the way. Could be anyone. Um, Could be me. Okay. Oh, no, boy, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Hey, wait, wait, wait. It's Nassim so man, wide. And it's know, I'm like photographers. <laughs> I'm like photographers. I might talk yeah. about Osborne. Yeah, okay. Like the one person. Person. Yeah. Whoever comes top yeah. of mind. Yeah. Yes. That stands I mean, out for so you. so many people, yeah. 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 Or whoever has the funniest story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, whoever has the funniest story. Yeah. Um, I don't know if, if that's... I don't know. I don't know. But I okay, I'm going to pick someone. I'll yes. say Ska. Oh, Oh hey, my for God! Real, for real, <laughs> <laughs> fan of the show. Shout out to Scam. Uh, Scam Cardinali. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I think. I think if. Huh, let me mm. put this. Correctly, because I, I need to choose my words carefully. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to start no shit. Let's <laughs> get this song next Ooh. week. Ooh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I don't what? think you need to beef with Scar. That's what I'm saying. It's everyone else around Scar. It's everyone else around Scar. I'm not trying for bullets to come here. But I think I think Scar is the one. And that's not to take anything from anybody, but I think that there is a um, way of understanding and interpreting his circumstances mm-hmm. and his environment. I think he has the potential to, I mean, they've already built, you know, Zosa Nation mm. as, a, as, a, as a philosophy, yeah. as a way of life, as a thing that can monetize, commercialize. Mm. And he's in the heart of it, you know, yeah. with Wakadinali, with himself. I think... He has enough exposure, interest, willingness to learn, mm-hmm. to compose that whole thing. Do you know? Do you guys know this? The Arab, a Rubik's cube. You know that yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I think Ska has the capacity to Rubik's cube that whole thing that they have. Mm into Proper something perfection. unprecedented. Yeah. Because there's there's templates. We've yeah. seen Wu-Tang. Mm. We've seen... Um, 
I'm going to go as far back. I've seen Rough Riders, yeah. mm-hmm. you know. Um, and there has to be... Do you need... Yeah, the, 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 else, the, yeah. The, there's somebody in those mixes who is able to see yeah. the fullness mm. of the picture and kind of just you mess with it. Together. Together. And you yeah. make it possible for everybody, for yourself, for, the, for you guys, you. Mm. for the wider. Mm. So from my interaction with them, I think Sky is the one. Nice. Okay. Yeah. For real. I think so. <laughs> Ooh, for real. Shout out to Sky. Man. Shout out to Sky. Yeah, yeah. See why you wanted to be careful with uh, the way yes. I that point. Yes, oh, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. You don't have nothing on it. Shout out to me. Bro. 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 Sky. Listen, the only downside is when you make this track and you don't get I'll be like, listen, Mudoni, I'm on your side, but you're just like that. But, Mwaz, on the other side, maybe you make up at your mixtape. Who can expect? Exactly. I said, I'm making a guess with who? Man like Jano. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> hey. so let's talk events, right? Uh-huh. So you begin this thing, which is like a little hangout. Mm-hmm. I think somewhere on Campbell Road. Was it Campbell Yeah, Road? yeah. Then... Tayana. Yeah, um, turns out to be blankets and wine, right? Turns out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this little thing, you know, mm. with a few friends and mm. people you know. Um, then establishes itself in Kenya as mm-hmm. literally, I think, the biggest festival we have around, mm-hmm. right? Then now you expand into Uganda and Rwanda. Mm-hmm. And I'm just curious, because I know Uganda and Rwanda, uh, they're talking different cultures, yeah. they're talking mm-hmm. different government policies. Yeah. Different so how different everything. would blankets in UG and Rwanda and Kenya be? Pretty different. Okay. Mm, the hypothesis is experientially it should feel seamless. Mm-hmm. You know, like if you go for blankets in Nairobi yeah. or a blankets in uh, Paris, mm. in Uganda, mm. in... Diani. Um, Remember the blankets correct. in Diani? Yes. Oh, shit. So experientially, the, mm. the big blocks should be the same. Okay. You know, it should feel good. It should feel easy. It should mm. feel, mm. you know, someone has really put some thought. It should feel intentional. The mm. programming should be really sick. You should discover something. Yeah. You should... Um, uh, participate in something, the building block should be the same, yeah. but yeah. then everything should acquire the nuance of the place. Yeah. When we went to Kampala, we had to convince people in Kampala, sitting on the ground is a thing. Oh, what? Wait. That's not a thing that you think about, right? Because like, culture, it's a, it's cultures just, are different. Cultures again. different. Yeah. It's just like sitting on the grass. No, I mean, I'm going to buy like picnic chairs. Mm. And we're like, you can, but we're also saying you can put some cake. Yeah, yeah, I'm just sitting it, yeah. It's in the name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a yeah. thing. That yeah. was a whole uh, thing. Oh, wow. That was a whole thing. Mm. Um, then the way we, our understanding is that when you enter into a space, the yeah. first people who you should service with the space is the culture, the, mm. them. Yes. Mm. Then you should export this Kenyan piece to them, mm. right? So Kenya is always like a nice, Spring cold, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Sisini, yeah, garnishing. Mm-hmm. Um, so the con- Uganda has a very strong pop scene, and the alt scene wasn't very visible, wasn't very seen. Mm-hmm. So to program some of that stuff that they consider alt, which we would say is discovery music, mm. just what if you're not making kind of this pop yeah. sound, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. What what exists on the fringes? Mm. That was not that was kind of a bit of an uphill mm. okay. to to figure that out and to make that a, like a useful I ask think, yeah. because they also have such a strong concert culture. Mm. And they consume their own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was really interesting trying to find what is the unique, what's the USP, at least as far as the music curation is concerned. Mm-hmm. And then now this daytime piece. So over the years, the thing has come together. Okay. Um, in Rwanda, we were early. Okay. So when we went in, we were just a bit early. The music scene, the local scene was starting to, you know, get together. Uh, but we were early. So mm. we couldn't sustain. You, yeah. you don't have enough local programming. Mm. You yeah. require it from the beginning kind of to import music in. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's a great model for sustainability mm. and also for ownership. True. Mm. You want that when... Oh, not you. I. <laughs> and the directors and the shareholders and blankets, we would like that. When it goes somewhere, that the first people who are serviced are the local mm. community. True. And then us guys, uh, Kenya, East Africa, Africa, go to servicing. Mm. Now, when you're in diaspora markets, the conversation can be different, okay. right? So when we do blankets in London, yeah. we would be asking, how can we serve the East African audience? So mm. there it becomes, who is already Kenyan or East Africa in the scene? So if you're in London, do you have Hamza, mm. for example, in programming? Yes. 
who are the people who can sort of claim ancestry from this thing, who are the people who are already making, and then you can import, export. Yeah, you can export, yeah. Some of the stuff that's happening yeah. here, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, my point is that the considerations, it's same, same, but different. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so even when we go for blankets in Uganda, we're like, we're at blankets, but yeah. it's also it's blankets free. Uganda. Yeah. Yeah. It's not blankets Kenya. Some yeah. nuances, some places where I'd like to tighten as a creative director. And there's always that question of like, how much, you know, when you're franchising, how much yeah. do you leave to the local knowledge? Mm. How much do you like straight See. jacket it and say, this is the this is the programming? Like, yeah, mm. guidelines of sorts. Yeah. So yeah. everything else can fit within that. Mm. So what, um, so probably we could... Um, yeah, let's use um, next week's example. Hey. Event as an, yeah. as an example to ask more questions around it, right? So nine, By next week, you mean nine, April 2nd? It's April 2nd. Yeah, yeah it's literally. Yeah, April Ooh. 2nd. Wait, you it's see, it's literally next week. You better remember. <laughs> it's on a Monday. I'll be there. Sunday. It's a Wait, Sunday. Sunday. Oh, the week starts on... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Calendar? No, no, I'm coming. I, I don't know that you're there. No, no. Yeah. Last time we'll do Russia Wednesday to get a job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know how many HR managers were like... If you want to experiment. Yeah. If you want to experiment, you want to do the next thing. Yeah. That's why not. I'm going to ask you a question. But... <laughs> so for instance, um, April 2nd, right? Mm -hmm. Check us through what goes through the curation process, choice of venue, partners you want to work with. Like what is your thinking? So we have, so you've, you've decided April 2nd is the date, right? Yeah. So, so the first thing is we've decided first Sunday of every quarter yes. is the oh, date. Nice. It's key to say that. Right? Yeah. Yes. So April 2nd ha happens to be the first Sunday of every quarter. Mm -hmm. We think that a quarterly cadence is a good enough window for you to do some cool programming mm. first for people to miss you. Mm. You want to be available enough that... But not too available. But not too available. Like you know what I mean? Like a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a new man. <laughs> Got you. Chuck Sacco like, ah. <laughs> I do that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Effortlessly. <laughs> it's called Chuck No, I live in Kiambu. Kindly. <laughs> diaspora. I'm, yeah, I'm a diaspora yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. I just come to us all in Nairobi. <laughs> yeah, so... There's, there's, that's the right frequency. Okay. I think it's also the right frequency, for example, for brands, partners, sponsors, mm. to think about like experiential. Yeah. So you do like your campaigns, whatever, maybe your campaigns are digital or yeah. they're in like, you know, unique niche places. And then you have once every three months, you can congregate people mm -hmm. and enjoy. So it, it just feels like a good enough, like yeah. breathing. From now, music curation perspective, three months, you know, we don't, we program about six months in advance. Mm. Yeah, so like we... Because of bookings and all Yes, of bookings yeah. and also cash flow management and just like thinking through taste and just having the time to build the thoughts. So mm. we we already more or less finished a, a this year's. programming for July. For July, okay. So, you know, in the next days, we would be thinking through Who's programming Who's headlining for October. July? Yeah. <laughs> I want to have that. That's me. I came with a question for the pod. Okay. I have oh, yes. yes. uh -huh. Our spokesman. Yeah. <laughs> All of leave. you. I, I, I really, I really, okay. I really, I'm really here. Yeah, I really have Death. a question for that. Okay, cool. We'll um, ask that question. But yeah, so coming out of December, like this year has been very intentional in mm. a different way. During pandemic 2020 2021 we were very clear that we were not going to have blankets yeah. we were super 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 clear about that yeah. I, we didn't even like have any plans or anything did you just say shui yeah. <laughs> are you lose <laughs> <by> each other <laughs> 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 yeah 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 yeah, you actually grew up uh, not that, far from yeah. Kangwane. Right? Yeah, I grew up in the Great Corner. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we didn't have stress at it. We were like, yeah, the other creative things to do. So coming into 2022, the question was, we knew that we had this weird election. So it's either you come before March or you wait until Q4. After August, yeah. But by the time now we're coming into Q4, we found like um, 
we know who we are and the value that we've produced, but there's also other things that have happened in pandemic. There's mm. lots of like opportunistic things that have happened. There's also some growth. True. So kind of who are you? Who are we? Who are, you know, kind of gotcha. like, yeah. unajidrua, but... Also, yeah. Yeah. You know, where are we in life? Yeah. What are we thinking? Mm. So entering into 2023, we've just become really intentional about like collecting data. Like mm. just talk to the mm. user. Mm. What where is the user in their head? Where do they derive value? What kind of artists do they are think they about? Well, yeah, whatever. Because I think that's also a big thing that has happened. We really listened to things during pandemic. True. Like our wide taste became wider. True. I don't know what else to say. So it was really important for us. One of the things that came up quite a lot is that we really like the Kenyan piece. Mm -hmm. Even coming from December, yeah. there was like CK was great, Savara could have headlined. Which confirmed what we thought, which is like, yeah, you mm -hmm. had headlined. Yeah, yeah, of course, Savara, bro. So then the question there became for us, like, okay, so let's do all Kenyan programming. Mm. You know, we always have three parts oh, of the programming. Nice. You yeah. must fulfill discovery. So those are artists who are really good and are sort of at the beginning point of their careers. Like Kinoti now Kinoti. For, for this Correct. one, the upcoming right. edition. Exactly. Yeah. Or people like Lisa, who are extremely talented, insanely good musicians. Mm -hmm. And if you know, you know. Yeah. So now Lisa is at the point where she should be put in spaces where you, you don't know and you don't know what you don't know. Yes. So like your Let brain is give going, it to you. Yeah, your yeah. brain is going to explode because you'll be like, is this actually happening? Yeah. Is this a Kenyan Church babe? Lisa. Like, yeah. who is this babe? Like, yeah, yeah Lisa is Kantatra. Then you also have kind of like your rising stars. So you have mm. your zinias, you have mm. your Kelo Marx, mm. who are people who've been putting in the work mm. and like the My work EP is starting coming to out yield. Soon. My oh, EP is God. coming out soon. With so, your Kelo so, Marx. No. <laughs> <laughs> so very soon, yeah, my EP, my EP is coming out. Kelo Minimum. <laughs> <laughs> Got in there. Got this episode title. Okay, let me move on. But it's okay, let me move on. Picture him with a drama queen. Love me, love me. That's the episode title. Okay, let me move on. Love me, love me. If you want, if you watch me, nah, some. If you watch the other fifty-five episodes, love me. Chucks is always making promises he doesn't do. He never. Chucks has been moving out for forty episodes. Correct. At the end, ah man. But now I'm finally moving. <laughs> oh, so well, I just start coming. I just get a girl from January. Oh my God, yeah. taxi. <laughs> So the guys who listen we'll to the podcast, so we, we have a community. And we'll also transfer. Every time we transfer. So we're going to show you money. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so we have our community, they're called Checkmates. Because <laughs> Mike checks, so they're Checkmates. And they're a beautiful community. But <laughs> accountability. <laughs> they hold us accountable. <laughs> yeah. For every, every single thing. Ulihama. So you have yeah. these like rising stars who they're doing their thing and they're, they're you know their 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 work is starting to like really cross their mm. their audiences are you know it's starting to become you know sort of bigger bigger. Yeah. Zinia is also one of those artists who I'm just like indeed we can claim her but mm. Zinia Ametwacha already like that's that's a global star. Yeah. 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 So you have that segment, and then you have, you know, sort of your headliners. Mm. Um, and so for, you know, your Nyashinskis, your Nviris, those are really artists who are their headliners. Yeah. Sort of, uh, I can't level. wait to see him, Viri. I can't wait to see him. He doesn't have a also, bad song. He has a I new like? album. That's he has a new... Yeah, we're going to listen to Nviris' new album. No yeah. way. There's material of the new album that's That's going to be on, yeah. on his set. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you think about... Sherehe. Yeah. Buana Sherehe. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. And also Nviris is a killer life performer. True. So for us... A, a, a criteria for blankets is you must be able to perform. Mm. You must. So then, you know, you put some fire under the ass of someone mm. like Butros was great catalog. It's like, okay, now, you know, Butiros. when you're working with a, Do you know, bigger, we with actually, a band. We, 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 we had Butros here, here, Butros and we discussed yeah. the set of blankets yes. and we said, we can't wait to see him perform live because yeah. yeah. you're going to make sure he's playing with a live band. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So imagine it's Angela live with band. a live band. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm excited for him, but I'm excited yeah. for the growth. You know, yeah. It was the same thing we did with Bacardinali in yeah. December. Mm, we yeah. put together the band. We put together the set list. We rehearsed them. You know, we had long conversations mm. with Ska. Like, think about the way to present. I'm always saying to Ska, like, your minimum level of where it can be, not mm. that you're replicating, but where it can be is Stormzy. Mm. Just look to Stormzy. Oh, look to Stormzy. 
see as a template of what the thing okay. can be, what could it sound like on stage, mm. what could it look like, what kind of stories can you tell, mm. you know. Um, and I think it's helpful when you think that way because there's also the Ukivuma Kenya, Ukiwa hit mm. Kenya, you mm. can be very comfortable. Ukivuma. True, dear. Ukivuma. 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 Ukivuma.
Mm. So in December, so you have literally the mushrooms. rewriting yes. history. So the mushrooms, okay. yeah. It's like, we should watch this thing. Yeah. So in all my years of loving the mushrooms, I never watched the mushrooms. Yeah. I didn't see it. There I never. No there was yeah. no gig. I didn't give love. Mm. Right? Mm. And what... And appreciation as well. And that's what artists eat, right? Now, these Truly. artists who have been in the game for 50 years, last year, they were like, yo, we still have some things to contribute. And I'm like, indeed. Mm. Yes, do it. You should get into studio afresh. You should actually be in studio with Polycarp, mm. with and Wadomolo, and with Lord Dilly. True. You should like, what does the mushrooms... Because the mushrooms mm. were Saudi soul. Yeah. yeah. They were, actually. So when you look at them in the context of their time, they were the boy band making all the pop the hits. boy band, that's true. Those were pop hits, yes. right? True. Same as Les Wanyika. Yeah. So it's like it's really great to like we to have, we deserve mm -hmm. to watch this music. Yeah. That's our heritage. Yeah. We deserve to plug in. Mm -hmm. We deserve to hear Afro live. Mm -hmm. We deserve to now like explore that discography. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. Booty deserves to be sampling. Booty less was. one. Yeah, he deserves to be sampling <laughs> less one yika because yes. I'm like, that's what made Kanye. Mm. Mm. It's Twitch. all this incredible sampling stuff. Twitch, yeah. so we I see the Catholic that Foundation moment. really want that. <laughs> yeah. I see it. Hey. Preach, sister, preach. <laughs> so yeah. for us, it's a great honor. Yes. Yeah. You know, and when they are here, to yeah. give them love. True. Mm. And for them to be treated with respect and with courtesy and with the mindfulness that they would get if they were playing, I don't know, at Wembley or at Wherever. Coachella. Yeah. They should have that premium experience at home. True. And that should put some fire under their ass and some fuel in their tank. Mm, especially the fire. So, um... Ahem. Come on now. I'm going to say poetry, poetry, I'm going to say My words, my daughter, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. How long have we been rolling? No. Please did. Ah, uh, uh, perfect. 49, this is no. the longest. Chaxi has gone without mentioning the <laughs> name, <laughs> genitalia. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Episodes. it yeah. should be normal uh, so, to discuss it. True or false? Just in the middle of a sentence, yeah. 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 Your penis. <laughs> is your penis fine? Did had, your penis wake up feeling good? Yeah, exactly. He had one chance with Sakaja. One, one, one. question. Guess the, the question he asked Sakaja. Ask Are you parking? Ah! <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, he actually asked Sakaja. Yeah, Sakaja. Sakaja was a G. He was like, of course. Of course. I'm parking. <laughs> and then, <laughs> baby, are you parking? Hey. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, I feel like, because I don't know how to be here. Like, I feel like the first time, because I've been with Nyash like, in the same spaces, but I've mm. never really had a one one con mm. conversation. And I don't know how I would behave around So, like, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so. <laughs> I'm not as. No one ever knows guys, how to behave around So, Nyash. next, really? right? He's a star. But so Blanket is on Sunday. Yeah. So the other week, I'll tell you if Nyash is parking. <laughs> oh, God, no. Don't let him backstage. Please. Please. Denied. <laughs> Denied. 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 Or you can sketch him. It's very easy to sketch. By the way. Nanza, you too. And then I draw the face. <laughs> so true. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> so you mentioned, uh, so we're going to have, uh, first, <laughs> so first Sunday of every quarter, we have yeah. a blanket, right? Yeah. yeah. So four blankets at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, so when, when we do the December blankets, right? You've done yeah. for now. Yeah. What does success look like for you? At the end of the year. Yeah, mm. that's a really good question. Uh, the first one Ooh. is a, a rebuilding of community. Mm. Okay. Because, you know, mm. but yeah. some things happened in pandemic years. Mm. Like, things are not the same. True. Yeah. They're the same and they're not. I don't know. And it also depends on your age group. There are some people for whom nothing is ever the same again. Yeah. There are some people who are like, damn, thank God the inconvenience is over. But mm. So for me, I think that rebuilding of community... Mm. Uh, for us at uh, Amazon Music Level, one of our real, one of our values really for us is experimentation. Mm -hmm. So this year we're going to experiment, you okay. know, like, um, and our experimentation is going hand in hand. Our key objective this year is to refine. Mm -hmm. We have the thing on lock, but now you just want to really refine the experience. Mm -hmm. Like when you say there's a family zone, you have to speak with those stakeholders about what is really value mm. for you in this thing called family zone. Mm. What will give you comfort and joy and ease. Mm. And then commit to delivering that and okay. staying accountable to that commitment, yeah. right? If you say that um, you are delivering a, one of the value that you're picking for your users, one of our main areas this year is data, acquisition mm. of data. One of the pieces of... Uh, 
one of the places in the festival that sits with a lot of consumer data is the bar. Mm. So it's become really important for us to refine the bar experience mm. at Blanket. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, like, this whole thing, refine. Like, mm. this should be, like, such a classy, painless experience. Yeah. Go. That's a huge commitment to make. And that means you're putting resources, mm. human and money. And um, But if you do it well, you should acquire lots of things outside yeah. of user experience mm. and satisfaction is also data. True. Like, what do you guys actually really drink? Mm. Why do you do drink, you drink that it? thing? Yeah. So then, you know, what is the right quantity of that thing? So it's always on tap, yeah. right? And then now yeah. you can circle back to the partner and say, our data is showing that this is the thing that really works. So let's mm. lean in. Let's build the experience okay. that yeah. is really, mm. you know, commensurate to mm. that. Yeah. Um, so this year at Blanket Success is refining the experience. Okay. Uh, we had a big win like with uh, security, toilets, and lighting. So like now, it's one thing to win, it's another thing to sustain the win. Yeah. So Ooh. sustain the win even as the number grows. Mm. Um, those for us are important things. Uh, the team, mm. the satisfaction of the people who work on this thing, mm. um, that for me is a big success story at the yeah. end of the year that the more they've worked on this thing, the more intimately uh, connected they are, mm. the better the experience, the better the friendships at mm. the workplace. True. To me, that's mm. an important thing. True. I like that. Mm. So the other thing about um, still within events, right, that we've been discussing, I think, on this podcast for a while now, is that um, when it comes to locations in Kenya, yeah. put on a good event. It's mm. hard. It's, it's right? difficult. It's, it's, it's difficult to get the perfect location for you. It's because, difficult. So... Then, then the question would be, um, initially, we used to do race course for blankets, yeah. right? Mm. Then when you came back after the pandemic last year, now you're in, in Kasarani. Kasarani. So yeah, what informed the change and why yeah. Kasarani? So the first thing I want to agree with you, another thing we have in common is we agree that there's a struggle of any. Four things. 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 The problem is it will end at one for you. Hey, Jack can point out. Actually, that's a good reflection. No, but Mudoni's shoes and chassis and your job by there are almost scandalous. It's because same thing. No, no, yeah. Okay, my song. So, you know, we don't I have, have a gap. I'm, I have a gap. I'm saying my song. We don't have fit for we don't have fit for purpose venues. Mm. At like in different scales, like we don't have. I mean, of course we do. Yeah. But we don't have them at varied scale. True. The alchemist, for example, mm. or. Um, at a race course, mm. the where wind down happens. Was it the waterfront? No, the no, no, no. Or um, oh, where the wind down uh, winning post. Winning post, winning post right? Yeah. So alchemist and winning post are good examples of fit for purpose yeah. oh, okay. entertainment spaces that are designed for performance, mm. right? So the owner yeah. has put in some in- infrastructure investment and the place is designed mm. for live performance, right? Yes. So you're not going through tables, it's like space, stand, mm. perform. There's dance floors, yeah. then there's yeah. sitting, there's yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. The carnival yeah. stage, for example, yeah. Yeah. is a fit for purpose. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's it. That's it. After that, you have to kind of invent everything. Yeah. For yourself, which, which, which means spending more money Correct. just to set up an event. Correct. And also, the, even Carnival, as much as it's set up, they take all revenue from the bar. Exactly. So yeah. you're also losing it's, revenue yeah. so it's as not, the promoter. It's not thinking of itself as a venue. Mm. Yes. It's thinking of itself as a restaurant. Yeah. But Literally. With like a stage yeah, where you where come the set up and then space. we provide yes, drinks and yes, food. Yeah. Exactly, right. Yeah. Whereas a venue would think that yeah. it's just a thing. You can come. You yeah. can run your bar service. Yeah. You know, you hire the mm. space and yeah. then okay. yeah. we can provide the service of bar. But if yeah. you also want to come and run your own bar operation, you can come and run your own bar operation. Right? That's the way venues operate or that... You say we run the infrastructure bar is available operation. for you okay. to decide. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Or we run by operation in partnership with you. Yes. So we are always 50%. You yeah. can run the rest of the 50. Mm. You know, the person mm. who's running mm. the event should be able to make yeah. because the buy is big revenue cool. for events it's a, in it's Kenya. A, it's a core so when someone everywhere. when someone tells everywhere. you, not you just Kenya, you're everywhere. not gonna make any money from yeah. the bar. It's as a promoter, I'm looking at you like you're losing so much money. It's bullshit. And also like all those controls, or like now you've come here, you can't sell. 
Muratina, what we're having yeah. in discussion. Yeah, or you like, can't sell Muratina, but it's like, I'm the one who's brought the audience. Hell yeah, yeah I can sell Muratina. I can sell whatever I want to what, sell. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm the one who sits with audience. I'm the one who knows the yes. user's you know, needs. So there's that challenge in the market. And, you know, we are always resilient. We're always trying and building and repurposing spaces. Yeah. Yeah. So Ngong Riscos is one of those really wonderful spaces that has the potential to be a fit for purpose. Yeah. Just need um, to build the infrastructure. But, they, they, you yeah. know, just for, over the years when we were there, we would t- talk to them. Like, basic things, just like perimeter lighting. Mm. A perimeter fence, mm. a, a system of, you know, you should have now eve- like event facing, event specific security mm. because it's not on you that you're next to a Gatina slum. And yeah. also it's not even, it's not so much, there's nothing wrong with yeah. anywhere, a slum mm. or whatever, a high area, it's not. Yeah. The economic, you know, Upinji ni nini tuna tafuta do you know what i mean that's not just and there's an opportunity pastor. for us to make money yeah so yeah. then that's what here. it is right so yeah. that's not on Gong race course and that's not on mm. the event producer yeah. True. Uh, but then it means that there should be a security operation that is alive to the realities mm. and really works proactively yeah. so whether you're going to put some perimeter fencing mm. so that you know the area you're working with yeah. some lighting some are you going to how do you work yeah. with the local police or mm. you know thinking through that stretch you know on both ways say from I don't know, say, from raised the, from, from, from Junction. The yeah, this is from yeah. the main no, road. From Junction or even like from Jamuhuri, so, yes, turn off to way, where you yes, are and then from yeah. there maybe up to Lenana, there's an area that you can just decide that this is our business because mm. it really contributes mm. to people's experience and mm. Ngong Riscos for multiple reasons hasn't mm. been able to do that. Mm. And so after 2019, 2020 experience, you know, we had such a great blanket and then, you know, some people had some bad experiences outside of the venue. And then, you know, that sat with us. I was like, this is insurmountable. We can't win at Ngong Risk because it doesn't matter how much Mm, resource we we throw at We can't win. And even when the people who have won to a certain extent, you know, uh, if you think like uh, October October 1st, 1st, yeah. um, the 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 thing you know from a PNL perspective as a loss making venture you have to throw so much, much. at it's it so much it's so much that to security make it work. Yeah. to make it work it's and so I was much. just like enough so um, when we went to Kasarani one of the things you know to understand is Kasarani sits on like acres bro acres, it's maybe yeah. 40 it's or something huge. acres as hell, yeah, yeah the complex the right? whole thing the yeah. whole thing so yeah. they have the indoor stadium the outdoor, outdoor stadium which is what we know there's yeah. uh, like a whole aquatic stadium mm. there's multiple things so there's fields that are within that ground that have never been developed mm. so like where we are it's mm. called the Laurette Garden mm. it's meant to be the lawn tennis thing okay. mm. so when they built this thing they yeah. built like a global like a world class yeah. uh, uh, mm. sports complex yeah. thing then someone so basically smart- we can, Someone embezzled the money for the tennis. <laughs> yeah. And now it's just and other yes. infrastructure that should have yeah. been built. Yeah. So like that space we are in is meant to be, you know, mm. the the uh, tennis, the lawn court mm. that just never got built. Mm. But the way it was designed, because it had been designed as though you can host an Olympics or like an whatever. Yeah. The works. perimeter fence must be there, there's lighting, the they have their own police station, mm. the parking is the like parking is 3, cars. Well, so the parking. thing has been designed to succeed. Really yes. true. So it's like now. Why am Why I am having I an argument with a venue yeah. that does not have a fence? These mm. guys have a fence. They yeah. have Everything. a CCTV system that works. Like mm. on the first day we went there, we were just driving around at night. Hey, Popo's pulled up on us. To now on a nini kwa CCTV nini akina nani? Yo, with guns yeah. it was a situation. Yeah, yeah with akina like Ivan Odi, you should ask mm. Ivan. Yeah, it was really a so thing they for They thought like, they're scaring you, but they're impressing you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was like, yeah, God, wow, yes, exactly. I was like, so yeah. 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 So the CCTV is nice. not like you know fake yeah. news, you know. So. I mean, it doesn't eliminate everything, but as yeah. a producer of an event, it means that you're at a certain level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're starting somewhere. You're starting somewhere. Yeah. You know, there's a lighting, yeah. slatty lighting from scratch. True. You know. Uh, perimeter fencing. Gonna you're not spending money on that. You see mm. what I mean? Yeah, 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 because then now you can reroute that money. That's what you can say. So instead of now spending all the money on the fencing, we can mm. put mm. 100 toilets. toilets. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There are so many toilets at... at uh, in toilets on toilets. I love that. <laughs> so many, But that's what it's going to be to Kanoa, now our mama, Walikwana. Yeah. Pee, wapi. And I felt bad because yeah. we had toilets, Makes but the guy of no, no, first and foremost, there was not enough lighting. Also yeah. going to the because toilet, the guy, the lighting, yeah, yeah, the guy of lighting did that Kenyan thing of fundis for like, yeah, 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 na come, na come, na come. Then <laughs> it's now Friday, at come, so you have to find another person. You have to first solve for vendors, blah, 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 blah. So mm. eventually we didn't have enough lighting to tell you mm. this is the direction of the toilets. Oh. I think I remember that. So you're there yeah. peeing in a ratchet in scenario dark, yeah. and there's some loose. This is, when, this is the coffee, the coffee gig. gig. The coffee yeah. one yeah. and Tuli, Fanel. Two 
Yes. That, that was dope. Yeah, yeah honestly, yeah. okay, Mr. Yeah, Muzuki, but I, I was not impressed. I'm not impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm my torch to go to the toilet. Naturally, I'm like, bro. I'm like, I'm like, bro. 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 I'm I I also have a lot of compassion for all of us who've been trying to make things mm. work. It's, you're working in impossible situations mm. to produce like some possibilities. So for us, yeah. Kasarani really solved some of those core problems, and yeah. we are like now you what I've promised. To Our job things. is now to keep refining, like keep mm. refining, keep refining. Oh, that was a great toilet experience. Okay, do you want to maintain that? Do you want to now think about now? We are saying refine bar, mm. and then refine so play area, the refine the vendor. Okay. So it keeps getting better. But now you can solve. One, one thing at a time, as, go. as opposed to say at Congress, because where you're so spread with the problems the that, that you're you need to solve. Yeah. You don't know which yeah. one to start and which one to yeah. finish. Now I care still about parking, amani, the car wash, amani. I said, "Gary is on the headlights." Gary is jumulike. Gary is jumulike. You understand? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then what happened? To, what happened to Africa now, though? Africa, you see, yeah. that's not very my. I know. Hoodie. That's what I'm like. I feel that what happened with Nuvo was. We had the we were on we had the Rubik cube, yeah. but we had to quite make all mm. the right like mm. yeah Moves. yeah mm. the ingredients are there. We know how to build the installations. We're even interested in this counterculture of Africa. Yeah. Um, we didn't know how to speak to sponsors. They're mm. like, no, I draw blankets. Can you blankets? Mutonge leshe. This one, this one. 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 This What is, you know, they're like, who are these artists? There are no names. We're like, yeah. yes, the that po- is the point. That's the whole point. In Nairobi. So exactly. No. And so like me convincing my board, yeah. like this thing needs to be out of town. That's the, yeah. you know, allow the it. Points. And then like you need to earn it. So we had also some internal dissonance. It's also what happens when, what can I say, maybe, ni kama kuna first born, alafu kuna second born. Mm. Sasa, Second one, so I'm going to have a lot of money. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of money because I'm going to have a lot of money. But I'm going to have a lot of money. But I'm going to have a lot of money. So I'm going to have a lot of shit for some years. Mm, yeah. That's why middle children are always like, I'm my own person. True. Yeah. Are you Survivor. a middle child? Yes. Hey, things we have in common. Bro. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my class is empty, but... I'll take the toast for them. Uh, no. I'll take the toast for them. I'll take the toast for them. You have some Cheers. water to toast. Yeah. Okay, five things. Five things. Yeah. Yeah, okay. My desire, and that's what we're working towards, is that in 2024, Nouveau would come back. Okay. As an out-of-town gig. Exactly. As an out-of-town gig, you can trip balls for days on end. Nice. Um... We think it should continue being a multi-genre festival. There yes. should, yeah, like that's the most beautiful yeah, thing. Yeah, your about senses it. should be stimulated all the time in different experiences, yeah. Yeah. and we really think you should discover Africa. To pay Pombe. Ile kizungu na angusha. It's about that. Nako na ingia tu niko hivi. You have the job. Is the English coming? Watu na nuzi maso kopo. I'm a creator becoming. <laughs> Keep that, keep that. Oh, keep it up. I'm just ready. <laughs> They're not even ready oh, for you. Oh, my God. 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 <laughs> When you're using words in an interview, in a, in a boardroom, and the senior person doesn't understand, they can't Devion. ask. Devion. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I think the strategic direction you're taking is a bit insurmountable. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, truly. <I agree>. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Love oh me. my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a writer, that's why I'm intrigued. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a bullshitter for a living. So. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Fanny's a bit too. Hey, my god. He's a mad pointer. <laughs> so let's talk music, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Malzak on Vibe Blankets. Yeah. I need to ask, it's a silly question, mm. but Blankets and Wine, how did that come up, the name? like? My friend, Emi uh-huh. Claire, actually was like, so you do something, I don't know, something. Mm-hmm. People sit on, I don't know, blankets, I don't know, they bring some wine, I don't know, some wine, some <laughs> blankets. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Blankets okay. and wine. 
Then so if this friend had mentioned duvets and vodka, probably, and, 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 and <laughs> bed sheets and, hey. and whiskey, then you know, I think, yeah. The, also, yeah. the the context of that conversation because I was so I was so desperate to crack it. Mm. Um, I really am grateful for unajakuna bestiako na zakpati advice. Yeah, it's the right advice, but you're so up your ass, yeah. you miss it. Mm. I was so mm. willing and open. Mm-hmm. I was like, I did. It didn't even occurred to me to challenge the thought. I was yeah. just like, oh, yes, yes. This sounds like dope. Something, it yeah. sounds like something mm. new and it sounds like light. Yeah. So I'm really grateful. Manze, Rafi kia nakupatia advice ni mtuwa mwana sana. May you be smart enough to know that your friend is dope. Okay. Na yu kitu nakuambia ita kusaidia. Okay. So you guys are lucky. Oh, God. <laughs> of course. Good for you. Apart from dick talk, what was your advice as well? Good for you. Chaksha ni pati angi advice. Ah, that's a lie. I'm a shock on your pack. Are you packing? He advised Chaksha all the time. Okay, mimi ni luliza ya watu. How does it feel to know me personally and sit with me every week? Muthoni, mm-hmm. think of every week. Imagine. Tunafaku pati wa hachi. Like how privileged. Hachi for me. Like today you're going to see Chucks here. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a lie. Like, That's a lie. Like me, Some days are literally your best days of the week. So when shut I, up. No. <laughs> no. Are. No. Where? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, because you know why they're my best days because it doesn't get shittier than this. <laughs> this is the worst. I'm over there on Wednesday. You're fired. I'm like, eh, still not the worst day. <laughs> Your car's been ah, it's fine. Oh. You need a new gearbox. Still <laughs> Sunday. Uh, so question, right? Mm-hmm. Still, so we've, as we finish the yeah. blankets conversation. Mm-hmm. So is it true, blankets was um, partly partly came about because. No one was booking you and you mm. needed to perform mm. your music. Mm. Wow. 100%. Yeah. I was booking myself. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. 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 your market. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you I had a master gig. I to me 200 kilos. I was like, 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 I was I, I was, you know, it's just at the beginning stage mm, and um, mm. the the market was saying what the market was saying or the mm. gatekeepers or who I perceive to be gatekeepers because yeah. also sometimes I'm like, really if, you know what I mean? Yeah. Had, yeah. yeah. Mm. So then it's like, mm. na gig flani, na fanya das. Mm. so now this was like, let's call it the 2.0 of yeah. the gig. I was already hiring equipment and like convincing my friends to come and watch me monthly. Mm. So it's just now convince your friends but outside and now they can bring their own oh, okay. pints. Yeah. Mm. Tickets and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Done. The ticket is more expensive mm. but it's also like a nicer experience and mm. there'll be other artists on stage. So it didn't feel like mm-hmm. a stretch to the people who had already been coming and yeah. even for me it didn't feel like a stretch. It's just like now, except for programming yourself, you're also programming three other artists who also mm. need this platform. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay, Is it true fine. that the first blankets made 7K? I read in an interview. I must have maybe, <laughs> maybe like, maybe. I know we spent, I think we put in 100. No, it was like 20K. 20K. Because we spent 100 and we had like 120 because we had 120 mm. folks who After pulled up. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, 20K? Bro, this is profit. This is profit. So, Kishan, you know, like, you're 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 no, my account. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Did you pay in taxes? That's that's, it. I don't know. My account What's your credit score? My account. To be, to be like fair, what? to be fair, there's yeah. whole moments like when I'm talking with my business partner, mm-hmm. and I always like I've, it, I give myself so much shit. Uh, I need the Excel to be open for me to know like oh. were we in profit or loss and wow. by how much. Mm. I don't commit the number mm. to mind for positive or negative. Yeah. Positive yeah. or negative. Yeah. Yeah. Once they up or negative, so you may lose million in gap in a kwanga to blur. It's yeah. like in the qual loss. Yeah. Oh, so now we are Let's inside it's on forward. millions. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So come so we we to the end of by the end of the record. Yeah. 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 Anything is possible when you lie. <laughs> you know the, you know the if it's on the positive, yeah. it's the same thing. I really yeah. don't, I don't, and I don't know whether that's like maybe a 
maybe it's a combination of things. Maybe mm. it's a little bit of uh, desiring to... Mm, I need to say this, bro. Money is really important, but money is not a motivator. Yeah. Right? Mm. I think of money be. in terms of it's like a bi- utility. It's a byproduct. It's a, mm. Yeah, it's a byproduct. And yeah. it's also a thing you need to do other things. True. Um, so part of not like making, having this attachment to the number for good or for bad mm. is to keep me attached to the thing that really matters. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right? So like... Because if you do it right, mm. this will take yes, care of itself. Yes, this, this yeah. thing takes care of itself. So mm. like if we do this, like right now I'm hell-bent on like starting the new bus system, mm. refining that system in July. Mm. By October, we should be in a really good system. Yeah. By December, I th- be... what I would like to see is in the general market, now outside of blankets, I'd like to see Fork Fusion yeah. have mm. taken the idea. Mm. So far, have taken the idea. Uh, Task Oktoberfest, you know, mm. that our idea is worthy enough that competitors are like, replicated mm. by other Replicate. People. And yeah. now for me, I'm like, indeed. So now when the whole market has a high expectation for mm. that experience, mm. to me, that is yeah. success. Like, because then it means like consumers mm. yeah. trust more these yeah. things. Are you, yeah. are you packaging it into a product you can sell? Or? Yeah, we uh, are. Are you packing? I'm not <laughs> <laughs> what? <Shaxi. laughs> <laughs> That's what I had initially. I was Millions, like, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Mudoni packing. <laughs> okay. Millions, baby. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now I have a question um, for you after. Okay. After. Yeah, but yeah. My driver right now isn't um, isn't uh, packaging for selling. Mm. For selling. I think my driver right now is to have that feedback from you. Okay. Mm. You are like, man, that was a really good buy experience. Mm. I suspect that if you have a good buy experience, we're mm. probably going to make more out of you than would yeah. have made Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because buy is always such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Such a pain in the ass. Mm. So you're less like, I'm going there again. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. 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 So such a, yeah, it creates such yeah. loopholes and mm. it's a thing that you need at a gig. So see, we just do it well. Yeah. You know? So by just creating the efficiencies, yeah. I suspect just the efficiency already should yield mm. a better return than we've mm. had before at okay. bar, right? Okay. Then if the experience is good, mm-hmm. uh, the partner, right? So if, for example, you're saying Red Bull, you're not selling, mm. you can come and do experiential, but everything <laughs> is being sold at the bar, yeah. Yeah. right? Red Bull should be able to say, indeed, this efficiency thing mm. has made me sell more volume than mm. I sold Done. before, Last time. right? Mm. So now that partner is happy. Mm. And I can even say to that partner, I don't want more money out of you, what you're paying to be at the event, but I want and you to be more, more creative yeah. Yeah. and more think what, what's a way that we could meet the consumer's need. Mm. So now use your budget to make that thing better. Work. So even the mm. Red Bull is now thinking about refining they're offering to, you know, true. client. Mm-hmm. And I want you to feel so good at this thing. Some kind of gigs in Guinea. Manze mkona so many expectations. Yes. <laughs> and you're like, wow. Mkona kiburi. I can't believe I'm not kiburi. Mkona kiburi. Mkona kiburi. Mkona kiburi. Mkona kiburi. Because you have to demand more as well to level up. Yeah. Yeah. You need everyone to level everyone up level so that up. everything yeah. works. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm not kana uyo mtu. Uyo mtu anatukanwa. And I'm kana pigia good times. Nini ya jetu nasema good. We can produce for you. Yes. Yeah. So everybody starts to sort of benefit. So for this reason, sikuangi na your commitment ya the number. The number yeah. is the number. Kama me make do, me make. Kama mja make do, I'm ja make. Not something profound that Dave Chappelle says in one of I think uh, a podcast I was watching. He says that he doesn't look at um, life from the perspective of money because mm. each time, every single time he looked at anything he was doing from the perspective of money, he always lost the bigger picture. Always. Oh, so, you all, so he just focuses on his craft and the bigger picture and money will always come because so, yeah. whatever you're doing is done so well yeah. that money eventually you, you, you'll make money from yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. But if you start, if money is what is drives you, yeah. makes yeah. you wake up in the morning, yeah. then you start doing things for money. So you start compromising stuff. True. The camera crew are like, no fam. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Scary. Yeah. You know, like, we start at money, then we yeah. work backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chaxi, let me tell you. No, money, money's, gonna, money's always going to come, for when, sure. When I met Chaxi, mm. so this is something good and positive I'm going to say about you, ah, okay. which is stupid and crazy. Okay. Because Chaxi doesn't live on a budget. Yes. Mm-hmm. Chaxi will tell you about how he spends his money and you look at him like this. What? Should we blast <laughs> you? Know, yeah. 
you know what? You know what? Yo, she be blast. But I have no shame on Monday. Yeah, and I'm not last you. Like I'm the only person who probably ever knows how much I make and what. I'm. It's funny. It's money, bro. He'll just tell you like, see, it'll come. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, even Mwangi was the other time I was moving. He's like, um, so what's the plan? I'm like, I'm just gonna try make more money. That's yeah, the plan. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I, I never want to tell people like you're spending money badly or like yeah. this or like that. Mm. But I'll be like, I'll always ask like, isn't that a bit too steep? Mm. And then it's like, then I need to work harder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. <laughs> oh my god, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Has it ended up working out for you having this it approach? Is. It's always worked out okay. for me. I feel, but um, also it's because I have, um, I've always had such a bad relationship with money. Yeah. So now now I'm beginning to actively also try to understand how money works yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. But for me, I just don't hold myself back because of money. Like, Got if you. I really want to do something, Got you. if you can offset something, but I'll call you, I'll be like, Madonna, I need a yes, present. Yes. I need, yeah, but mm. like, I'll never stop at doing anything because of money. Got like, you. yeah. So I don't, when I'm thinking, I don't think money first. Got you. I think of the plan and then we're like, okay, Got so how much is this going to cost? Yeah. So advice. where is the money yeah. coming from? Kerubo, you know, a friend Sheikh, mm. she told me if you treat money like an ocean, it'll, like, it's something that's just there and it'll never grow. But if you treat it at like an income stream, I was like, are you making a joke about an income stream? Because you're saying, <laughs> at it's a stream, it's, it's yeah. coming. Stream, and yeah. if you need to sip it, you sip kidogo. <laughs> if you don't know where it goes, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. But me, you know, kikuyango kidogo. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's fine, bro. And, yeah. and that's the thing. Hmm? I think, I think you, <laughs> need, you need to find what works for you. Yeah. But I also think, you know, yeah. like, I want to send you kikuyako, but mm. also generationally. Yeah. Mm. Generally. Nobody gave us a framework of money. True. Nobody, yeah. I don't the, know how money is made. The framework was get like money, work hard, get a money. job. Yeah. Yeah. These specific jobs, yeah. Mali, eh, doctor, engineer, no, lawyer, yeah. eh, kuna jobs, True. we assume wanna make mm. dough. It's mm. just in this age mm. and time when our yeah. friends are doctors, when we've discovered, kumbe ma doctor na kwa kama safari. Like literally, doctors you have to really own struggle. Own practice for yeah. it to be, to make to money. And even then, you have to work really hard to become a specialist. And the years and the sacrifice, so the undertow of being a specialist, yeah, you're a neurosurgeon, surgeon but mm, like yeah. what did you have to give yeah. and yeah, yeah, life, so, yeah, yeah. and yeah. so much of that yeah. means like that a, they lost like, their families they lost even their personal, personal relationships yeah. like a friend of mine just yeah. came to Fusion the other night and she's like I just came from a 40 hour shift she's a doctor mm. and I'm all through mm. campus mm. when now we're beginning to do industry nights start doing podcasting mm. whatever she could never do anything because she was stuck in the system yeah. of I have to do class yeah. every single day yeah. for yeah. the whole day. Yeah. That one is a powerful one. I really, yeah. I really hope that we could be the ones. I think actually it's part of our burden, all yep. of us as creators yep. here, mm. that we do it in a way that makes it easier for Gen Z to have templates to think. Mm. Everybody's eventually going to do it their way, but a template to think like the demystification of money, mm. that you and your friends like really talk about money. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm here for it. No one told us. No one told us. No I, one told I, I us. think we've, we've even had this conversation before when you're talking yeah. about black tax is yeah. we don't know how to make money, yeah. how to keep money, yeah. and even how to multiply money. Yeah. So you have to figure it out how along to, the way. You go. Hopefully, yeah. if you figure it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but, yeah, but yeah. it's a thing. So let's talk music. Music! Yes! <laughs> yeah. So um, you are literally <laughs> one of the most... Minimum. <laughs> okay, <laughs> minimum. <laughs> you kill yourself. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I swear. Oh and a bookmark is all jokes. It's like, hey. Okay, <laughs> minimum. Yeah. Anyway, I'll surprise Music. you. <laughs> I could be opening at the blankets in December. I could Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So you are literally one of the most successful touring artists from Kenya. Mm -hmm. And especially, I think you've had a lot of success, especially in Europe, yeah. right? Yeah. And um, so I'd like to know, what does it take to maybe have a successful successful tour? And why is that a nightmare in Kenya? Yeah. Oof. That's mm. a very loaded question. Mm. Sparking. Sparking. Yeah. Sparking. Yeah. Sparking. Yeah. Sparking. I'd say it before you said because I could see him. <laughs> the vein. I'd say that the vein over here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this Ooh. one. Hey, yeah. yeah. I feel like oh, okay. Let me let me try and start, let me start with the second part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is it so difficult in Kenya? Because there's no system, and I, yes. I don't think I Kenya. Just... I think Africa mm. generally. Yes, that's what um, we do. Africa. Yeah. yeah, it's Africa. There's yeah. no system, mm. an interconnected network of opportunities. Mm -hmm. So. A hundred shows happening mm. and the people who can connect you with the hundred shows. So mm. the bookers, the managers, mm. the professionals who Agents, run this thing, right? Is, yeah. 
So if you think about like touring season, so you have two core seasons. So you have your summer season, which means outdoor festivals. Mm. And there's a small window before, which is kind of the end, the beginning of spring. Like from late April, early early May, you will Mm. do like indoor venues to basically practice your show that you're Mm. going to do at the outdoor summer shows. At the summer, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Then you do your summer run. Uh, what the summer run means is everybody is also on the same schedule. Like, Shulezi mm. Mefungwa by like mid July, mm. everybody is in the same vibe, everybody is in the same mood. Mm. Travel within Europe or America or mm. Canada is very easy. It, it, that, that can travel internally. So, if you yeah. want to go to Belgium and then it's you go easy. to France and then you go, mm. it's like you're hopping on trains, boom, there's boom, an boom. infrastructure. Those things have nothing to do with the music industry. Yeah. That's just the way A Europe has designed works. itself, yeah. right? Kutoka, France. Kwenda Norway, ain't a thing. Mm. There's cheap flights, there's a train network, there's mm. a, you can there's drive. Yeah, you can do them. Yeah, True. you can drive around as well. Yeah. Uh, and then you're all kind of on leave, so to mm. speak, or, you know, like, so the window itself gives space. If you think about Switzerland, Switzerland is really small. Switzerland, mm. That's where the producers I was working with for many years yeah. were. Yeah. So Switzerland is really small. Mm. Small, well, like, you're not I'm saying, um, not actively. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. So you have in Switzerland alone, which is Switzerland in Dogo, maybe Nairobi na Nakuru na Nikadogo. Mm-hmm. Like Nisi. Uh, Switzerland is not packing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That country alone has 800 shows in the summer. <laughs> wow. 800 shows. 800 festivals in the yeah. summer. Understand? Mm-hmm. 1% Kamam Sani me True. Of 800 shows. Yeah. Of 800 shows. 80 shows ago. <laughs> 1% is 8 shows. Of eight, no, 1% is 80 shows. 80 shows. Yeah, of 800. Oh, it's 8. It's 8. 800. 800. 800. Two zeros, two zeros. Still, 8, eight okay. shows. Eight shows. That's is, a yeah. load. 8 that's shows, yeah. Summer, that's two, two nice shows every month. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. If you do now, context, it, put yeah. it in Nairobi yeah. mm. life. Mm. It's, not it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad, right? Yeah. If you, if after you've paid all your bills, yeah. you as an artist, you can make say a thousand yeah. uh, out of that. Mm. Eight shows is eight thousand. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. It's that's not so. bad. You're somewhere. Truly, you're, you're somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. You're somewhere. Yeah. So now go to ten percent. Go to twenty percent, and that's just in uh. your country. You haven't thought about like then mm, you're addressing. Your, yeah. So the oh, Tanzania, yeah, have yeah, gigs going on at the same time. The Tanzania of Switzerland is France. Right, the, mm. your neighbor, your addressa neighbor, the next mm. neighbor is Germany. Another 800 shows. Your next mm. one is Italy. Wow. So, okay, kula tu karijon kenu, summer. You're good. You go sour. The other three seasons, you go even. Unona. Now, because kila mtu koko yo vibe moja, show mm. si Saturday, Friday, Saturday na Sunday, show ni Tuesday, show ni Thursday, show ni Wednesday. Shows, yeah. Literally all every all day. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Right? So, from Tuesday to Sunday, you mm. can make money. Wow. Right? At various, at vari- you know, of mm. variating yeah. scale. That infrastructure, mm. that interconnectedness mm. is a thing that is missing here. Okay, that's true. Right? So yeah. if you even think in Kenya, hey, ukisha cheza blankets, na umecheza koroga, na umecheza Oktoberfest, mm. na umecheza Soulfest, na umecheza Folk Fusion. Mm. There's nothing else, yeah. Mm. Truly. Doesn't get you have to wait. Also, all of those things are concentrated almost always in Nairobi. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Most of them are in Nairobi, yeah. So those are some of the difficulties. The, the way okay. the system, where we are mm. in our growth, meaning like we are like a negative, it's just where we are on the growth path. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why it becomes really difficult. Yeah. Um, the second one is because then the people who, the, the other co-financers of music, yeah. you know, corporate, um, here, the the culture. Now I don't know whether this is a Kenyan thing. Open Maoni, Maoni, Maoni. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and especially hey, you work with them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, so yeah, nice. the, good. Question, the question, is nice. yeah, the question uh-huh. here is, you yeah. know, we are in a world where people don't build upon. Everybody yeah. starts their own. True, I get you. So when your brand X. Instead of being like, oh, there's this thing called folk fusion. Let's, can I plug in and yes, can I amplify? Yes, let's make it one big thing. You think, how can I make my own? Mm. Bigger than... Replicate, uh, actually. Mm. So, no, how, replicate how can I better copy, than... Add my own copy than make my yeah. Right? And I wouldn't even mind if you're saying, I'm going to buy a book for folk fusion, I'm going to buy a book for folk fusion, I'm going to buy So, I'm going to a brand, I'm going to divide into 10 different parts. True. Of the 10 different parts, mm. two are mine. Yeah. Mm. Eight belong to the industry because mm. ultimately the industry is the one that drives this agenda. Yeah. Mm. 
So we we also have some mm. imagination gaps because to me it's like how do you imagine this thing? Mm. Like if we take a step back, how do you imagine this thing? You can have this one big brand thing that you do every year in October, and mm. you can also take money and say we're going to find plug 10, into different yeah true. ten producers, yeah. and we're going to put these ten producers on a four year journey. And we are committing for four years, mm. and we are like doing a degree of pre-financing in advance, yeah. so that you take the sting out mm. of Traxi, who is the entrepreneur, who is the risk. Mm. And so you're mm. saying, I'm managing some of your risk in advance. You know, I'm committing to you one million <coughs> three times a year yeah. for the next four years. Mm. True. On that LPO that Traxi gets, he can go to his bank and say, "Give me pre-financing. Mm. These guys yes. are going to give me." This money, or you can mm. go to some venture capitalists and say, match my investment, yeah. right? Mm. And I need this money in advance. So from mm. a cash flow perspective, now you you can book oh. for a year mm. in advance, so you for can market in advance, in a year yes. in advance. So the system, the loop hasn't yet closed. Mm. True. Yeah. The thinking loop hasn't closed mm. here. The investment loop hasn't closed here. Mm. Then we also don't have that window where you can say, in your window, you're to your hamster, mm. which is what what we were looking to introduce with the idea of the Kenyan summer. Mm. Yes, there is a day when the Kenyan summer actually begins, but when you look at it even from a weather perspective, mm. that December through to March stretch is the best outdoor. Th- that's true. Mm. It's yeah, because now, now you have to take a gamble because of the rains yeah. and whatnot. Literally. So if you want to do something outdoors. That's such a perfect window, mm. you know. Um, so what I've now come to the conclusion for, yeah. there are things that are above my pay grade. Mm. Mm. Am I Jesus? Not at all. Take it but up with the Lord. You know, you know the Lord. Take though. it up Am with the Lord. the Lord. You know, you know the Lord. Lord. <laughs> Talk to me. I got you. I got dear you. Lord. Dear Talk Lord. Take it up with the Lord. Dear Lord. Yeah. So Pray funny, to me eh. twice every morning. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so where we've reached, yeah. it's like there are the things that you can do and then there are things that you can't mm. do. Truly. So the ambition of Blankets is to be part of that solution. Okay. Mm. Right? That touring solution for mm. Africa. We can say... You can do Kampala, Nairobi, Kigali, mm. eh, eh, Daban, Jobag, yeah. eh, Cape Town, Maputo, Harare, mm. eh, Accra. Mm. And that can be a run, and you can, sorry, so, that can be a run, and you can predict that run, yeah. Yeah. right? Mm. That is the ambition of the business, and it keep being, we will keep growing into that space. Okay. Love it. When will that happen? You guys are as good as mine. Yeah. Because yeah. there's some things that are just, they're just above my pig. Truly. Yeah. No, but as, you're, if, as long as you're working towards it, yeah. that's all that matters. Because yeah. even when I talk about things that are maybe beyond you, because the other thing that would make it easier to maybe to around Europe is that we have a lot of venues that are ready for performance. Now, yeah. that's the second Flag and piece. Play. That's the second piece. Yes. So all this uh, sort of fall winter touring mm. happens in indoor venues. Mm. So your 4040, Club 4040, is designed mm. as an indoor venue. Mm. It's designed from the beginning as a place that somebody can perform. And yes. the yeah. guy who's opening the bar puts in some infrastructure right from the jump that yeah. this is an indoor mm. venue. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Right, so yes. you can make it a bar, but it can also be a concert space. Yeah. So now this idea of fit for purpose mm. spaces, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, in France, a lot of that stuff is heavily subsidized by the government. Mm. Wow. Right. So the government, you you put in some Policies. venture, and the government provides some money because you're doing employment of people. Yes. Wow. Right. God yeah. went. God went. Yeah, because the thing. God went, <laughs> fam. I'll I'll answer after the podcast. Because <laughs> yeah. so if, yeah, if you think, because if you think about even even Kenya, uh, right? <laughs> like, I'll okay. just say so, you guys. <laughs> imagine every Sunday. Imagine. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Predicament. Every but, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me corner. Bus bus for my baba bus bus. But if you think of even of Kenya, right? <laughs> so, because yeah. the way I'm lo- I'm looking at other successful markets. Mm-hmm. If you wanted to tour in Kenya now, you have uh, you don't have the all the infrastructure in Nairobi, so you have to set it up. But it's available; it's just not set up. Yeah. So when you set up Nairobi, if you need to do Nakuru, you have to take sound, lighting, mm. engineers, every, every, all, all that Nakuru. It's expensive. It's if you wanna do Mombasa, you have to take everything from Nairobi. If you want really high quality to yeah. Mombasa, so now if you're speaking to maybe um, Whiskey, who has announced his tour, right? Mm. If you're speaking to Whiskey. If we know Nakuru has a venue that is ready to go, yeah. Nairobi has maybe four venues. Mm. Mombasa has a venue. So it's easy for me to tell WizKids management, 
we can do Kenya and we can do for shows. Yeah. Two in Nairobi, oh, one in Nakuru, one in Mombasa, because everything is set. Correct. Mm. You just need to book dates. Yeah. Just because, so, because all the time I see Beyonce says world tour, guys are like, oh, world tour, why is Kenya not here, why is Africa? I'm like, we don't have the venues. <laughs> where? <laughs> we wanted yeah. to come to do so, where? To come into world. world. Yeah. 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 So, because, so when you're talking about infrastructure, yeah. I'm like, we're still not there yeah. because mm. where are the venues, yeah. where the yeah. artists can Having literally said plug that, and play. I also play. want mm. to say that there's some work happening. Okay. So the French Embassy and the Alliance Francaise, they raised some money and they've done refurbishment of four venues. Wow. So there's a uh, Little ones? Arts in Nakuru. Mm -hmm. There is, a, poof, I forget the name of the venue, in Lamu. Mm -hmm. um, there's a venue they've redone, uh, Sarakasi in Nairobi. Oh, Sarakasi? Sarakasi. Yeah. It's back? Yeah. Oh, nice. Sure. nice. nice. Yeah. They put like different new sound. They've done mm. some refurbishment of that venue. Mm. And I need to remember the fourth venue. In Nairobi? Yeah. I think Mombasa. Mombasa, mm. there's, a, there's an... Uh, oh, not on Mamangina Drive, but I think it's just in that area. It's but there's an outdoor... Is it like the KNT of type. Mombasa? No, 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 no. But there's an outdoor amphitheater. I'm going to remember. Okay. I'm going yes, to be fine. in your comments with the name of mm. this venue. All right, cool. Fantastic. So these four venues... New comment loading. Then, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. And then... Don't yeah. chance. You don't make promises. <laughs> Please. And then I we'll promise. be there refreshing. I promise. On this episode, I'm going to have to be insurmountable. Hey, 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 you hey, hey. Yeah. But yeah. even checkmates, you know, that was telling me this guy is, they'll be there like, hey, well, you send me a venue and they'll DM you. Yeah. So I think that for me already gave me a degree of hope because yeah. mm. you, you at least have like four feet for venue purposes mm. now in Kenya. The question always is scale, right? Because some spaces are smaller than other spaces. Okay. So we definitely need more of those venues. I also mm. think that there's a conversation we can broker with the current people in government. Yes. So for me, Sakaja is an important piece in the puzzle because Ali Jitulia Mwenyewe to do Nairobi Festival. True. True. So Kaja can be our frontman to say some of the spaces within KCC, like Taifa Hall is a great indoor Honestly, venue. Mm. That's a 3,000 people True. venue. Yes. Indoor. Mm. It's a great place. You have mm. toilets, lighting, security, Everything. parking. It's set up. It's yeah. ready. It's right? Ready, yeah. That venue just needs to be more available to the mm. creative yeah. sector. Yeah. Yeah. Even serve a ballroom. Correct. That's another, yes, that's another yes. venue within Indeed. KCC. Yeah. So you have some spaces like that. We have an indoor auditory, uh, mm. indoor uh, stadium at mm. Kasarani. Mm. So some of those spaces can really easily morph into entertainment um, spaces. Yes, spaces. Man, we have to, so we need I don't, to have yeah, here. I just don't spot, want us sure. to, you know, also for people who are thinking to just be like, nothing is happening. Some things are happening. Truly. It's just that if you look at it, like when is the thing going to change? It's going to feel like watching paint dry, yeah. right? So even that has now been, you know, I really took on this road of building the industry. I'm like, do your part and mm. also allow time to do its part. Mm. So, some things is time. Mm. Some things is imagination. I look at like, there are some malls. So like, I think Roslyn Riviera Mall in mm. Nairobi, for example, mm. should just be converted into a fit for purpose. Yeah, it's dead. Ooh. Entertainment. Ooh. It doesn't, it's, yeah. it doesn't the business, serve. The business has refused. Yep. It doesn't serve. The business, serve. The business, business is yeah. not business. Yeah, that's not, not on him. Yeah. Yeah. You see, that's not on him. Yeah. The, the, the primary investor, that was not on them, True. right? The, that the fact that they would come up with this other like big mm. uh, shopping mall yeah. that you really mm. can't mm. compete against. But and if you think about that shopping mall yeah. and village market, Three that area has yeah. truly and been served. Exactly. Oh, no, no, so two rivers yeah. and, 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 uh, village. and village have served. Yes. Yeah. So the person who is running the business, the advisor there needs to be saying that there's a gap mm. that the so people who are doing yep. plays and concerts and mm. dance studios, those mm. people don't have a space. So mm. this thing can be reimagined Into for that. that. Yes. that nice. And then yeah. hold your breath. Since it's already yours, mm. hold your breath Give this thing yeah. a nice 20 years. True. Just hold your breath mm. and allow time to do the thing that time mm. does. Because yeah. there's also a thing where it's like, it's not on you, but now yeah. there's a whole generation yeah. of artists and creators. Yeah. Yeah. I even, also, the, even the businesses that are thriving within Roslyn are just creative spaces. Yeah. There's like Chiki Studio. Chiki Studio. Studio. Chiki Studio. It's, it's a Wamboy's gallery. gallery. Yes, Wamboy yeah. Camiri's yeah. gallery. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The cinema, the small. It's a cinema. One. Exactly. Numba cinema. Yes, yes, yes. I think yeah. the same thing. Um, yeah. I think Java. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I think even the last time we spoke on camera, yeah. yourself and I, is what I think we're driving around Westlands, yeah. filming, and we're like the new GTC building. Yeah. Mm. And like, why is everyone just building such humongous buildings? Yeah. Why not just build a proper stadium? Yeah. Mm. Or, or 
make the stadiums you have work. Why not put that money into a proper theater? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. there's things that could actually immediately start working because there's a need for it. The But everyone just yeah. wants to build yeah. them all. And mm-hmm. this year, you know, my... Kama muna pesa, where is the camera? Kama una pesa, muni pe, muni pe. Hii pesa yenu, ni pe. Ask check me. Muni pe, muni pe. Yeah. Na pia kama muna jua, nini? Anko whoever kwa na pesa ingine, kwa na sijua ijulikani. Mm. The, we need to do some proof of concepts because we have some venues that yeah. can actually be for, mm. fit for purpose. Mm. But we have to be the venues. ones to design and show the imagination. Like, like, oh, this thing mm. could be a boxing ring, but also yeah. it could be like the indoor stadium yeah. for yeah. concerts. It's a 7,000 mm. people venue. Ah, what could we do with that? Mm. Then, for a period of time, mm. make it possible for different producers mm. to access that space. Mm. So maybe we drop these venue fees. Mm. And that's a thing that you do Properly, as yeah. government very intentionally. And mm. you say we are taking a hit for the next two years mm. to build out this thing mm. as a venue of choice mm. for those things, right? Now, go for the money. These people who are being paid this dome money, go mm. for their money. Because yeah. event mm. producers are paying someone to pay a dome, Uh, toilets. Mm. Uh, hey, you pay hey. for everything. You pay like, for everything. Anything you see on ground Even is paid ground for. Paid. Even the <laughs> grounds are paid for, so, bro. I'm going to suspend this one million venue yeah. fees and mm. you can have it. And for yeah. what? For the next one year, we're doing a moratorium. If you're an artist of any, if you're a producer yeah. of any kind I'm making, a, a moratorium. A moratorium. You don't know what that like means? You... No. <laughs> what do? <laughs> Me too, but let's look. <laughs> Shaxi, act like you've been. Hey. I was just like, hey. <laughs> hey. hey. So then you would say to Sakadra, you know, as an ally, and just this government, you know, in total, as an ally to creative sector. Yeah. You don't even need to give us money, mm. take away just make the, the structure. limiting factor. Yeah, just take away the limiting factor, the inhibiting factor, mm. right? The inhibiting factor oh, that says, eh podcast in that place Ooh, and because you have people. all this exactly you have all these friends of yours who are already artists a lot of us will pull up because love right mm. so even for you guys the imagination can be different the thing can be like cooperative it's five mm. you have five artists and yourselves and you're just going to split tickets with the people True. you know mm, yeah. like it doesn't also need to be a complicated system but the True. thing that would make it possible for you is somebody mm. doesn't need to ask you for one million yeah. to begin with mm. yeah. just for venue higher fees mm. Mm. and then, you know like it's, it's you know sad, what I mean? it's like just rent. take it out you know yeah. it's like rent I think the reason we always like feel sad after paying rent is because you don't see anything out of it. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you buy a shoe, you'll be like, hey, you expect, but you yeah. 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 But now, Ooh, just, like sour. Yeah. 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 After that, but you let us sound, but you don't marketing, but you don't have to And that's yeah. the other thing yeah. that when you look at the whole creative economy, yeah. even mm-hmm. podcasting to music to yeah. acting, whatever it is, name it in the creative mm-hmm. scene, mm-hmm. is that People don't even need money to create. People just yeah. need access Correct. to what they need. Correct. People need a studio like this where they can come Correct. and record a proper podcast Correct. or do music. Correct. Correct. I mean, Correct. And it. so that's also why I feel like to your earlier conversation, yeah. which is... Um, I know that this government has said that they wanna, they wanna, they wanna, they wanna fucks with us, right? Mm. With creative sector. Mm. I'm like, it's actually easier than they imagine in mm. some places. It's True. like for two years... Just decide as a policy. Mm. Every weekend, no, Thursday through to Friday, uh, th- Thursday through to Sunday, mm. Savo Ballroom is with something with It's creatives. Yeah. Mm. Something's, a, happening, something's yeah. happening, a concert is happening, a comedy show is being recorded, mm. a dance, Mandonga something. Is whatever. <laughs> Just something, yeah. something, something that means entertainment and yeah. people are enjoying yeah. and mm. just mm. make What that thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, since as yeah. case you already, already paid uh, whoever your security provider is. Yeah. Yeah. The, you, whether there's an event or not, exactly. security so already paid for. We are for. providing maintenance you security. Is maintenance is It's there. already been paid yeah. for. So you already have a security operation. So you guys coming to record your podcast, 
you don't need to think about nothing. We're going to run your security operation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have the venue. We already run the toilet. Set up bar and then we can share some money from bar mm-hmm. food. That's it. And just for two years, do that. Yeah, you know what I mean? So that they can yeah. sit with some data and see how the industry grows yeah. because these things already exist. Just True. allow allow, allow it. it to allow happen. It. Allow just it. let allow it prosper. Yeah. Just True. allow yeah. it. Yeah. Are you back performing soon? Please. Yeah. Yeah. Please. This year. Yeah. 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 So this year I'm back in music. Is it in blankets? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes and no. 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 The first thing. Yes or no. The first thing is I just uh, there was for me. Like I said, so for the in between 2013 and the top of 2020, I worked almost exclusively with these two Swiss producers, okay. Greg and Hook. Those are my brothers. Mm, I love them to up. pieces. Mm. Um, when pandemic happened, I wanted a reorganization of my life and yeah. like, how does this move? What is the easiest, simplest way? And mm. then also when I became a mom, it, these things became really no, critical, mm, right? Imagine. What's a way to have my life? Have and, a balance yeah. of everything all together. And yeah, and not to let some people down with some thoughts, expectations, mm. and mm. how can I thrive at home and also thrive at abroad? Work. So this has been mm. a part for me, like going back into music, writing, doing perform music mm. incubator, be, designing Which it, but is literally being the next it. thing I had here. Yeah. Yeah, being in it. Like those, those are the first times I've ever been in like songwriting camps. I've yeah. never been in that. So having access to BN, who's my friend Wait, every day. That music is finally coming out. So now music this is coming out. This camp is like yes. three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. The, the project with Blink is coming out this October. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this year, music is going to be a line. It's going to be a line, it's going to be a But the, the big shift that also happened for yeah. me in pandemic is realizing home is available for me. True. Because mm. in the earlier days when they told me it's not Kenyan enough, it's not Kenyan enough, you what I have elsewhere. is... I'm out. Let's, let's, let's export this. Let's go elsewhere. During pandemic, I, when Omale came to Nairobi, I remember mm. watching people's Insta stories and me being like, it must be so amazing to be Omale, mm. to have love at home and love abroad. Mm. So as a Kenyan artist, you feel it's the inverse. Like you get more love outside. So that, you me, love me, the beginning, yeah. that, that hasn't now, been, yeah. I wouldn't say that that has been Yashinsky's problem. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. not Medra's but problem. It's, yeah, it's been okay. the only drama problem. That's been my problem. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it is... <laughs> 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 life goes, life goes, life goes. Have you tried doing this? I'm just missing out. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. I need to have Medra on the show. No, Medra's coming. Yeah, Medra is fantastic. Um... Also, as a human, he's mm. a fantastic. He's, he's, yeah, Medra is a fantastic. Soul. I tried to Medra's... buy a pizza, chicken. <laughs> Randomly after a drunk night in Nairobi, where oh, or in Libya, at like four a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Medra is fantastic. But I think it's because we had a hot babe. <laughs> Very nice. Ah, yeah. well, Whatever well, happened, however, however it happened, however it happened, when I die pizza, I go like, hey. however it happened, the toppings is hot. Me carry on. <laughs> you know when someone else is buying you pizza, Indeed. you're like, oh, yeah. with, a, with, a trip, with a triple bag, extra, <laughs> extra toppings, extra jalapenos, extra cheese. And I let her bill your whiskey. Nista, <laughs> 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 we'll do that as a challenge yeah. one day. So I just, walk into pizza in and top max out on the pizza. What can, everything that can be. That yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Let's see what the yeah. Let's see. Like you be left and be checkmate or change. Yeah. So I think I didn't know that it was possible for me. Mm. Watching Omale made me feel like, damn, wow. why not? Mm. Why Must be nice. Yeah. But mm. I also didn't have the tools. So being in some of those songwriting classes that were facilitated by Perform, I don't know, just like Is, seeing how BN writes. Oh, mm. the approach to the writing, the approach mm. to the career. It's like, oh, you are allowed to... There was, I guess for me at least, there was kind of like a fear. I've always wanted mm. to make pop music. Mm. Me, I came in to make pop music. Mm. Like pop music pops. Kanye West is dad. Yeah. Mm. You know, I'm like, indeed. It can be so you and it can mean everything to you and it can be powerful and meaningful, but mm. it can be banging as a mother. Mm. You know, like... So he's my guy, Lauren's my guy, Missy's my guy, fun mm. like music, but I didn't think that those were things that I could sort of yeah, do before. Mm. So some of that own letting go during mm. pandemic that, you know, I, 
my word mm. for the year, but it's not for the year, really. It's this mm, season in my life is fun. Mm. Music was never fun mm. for me. It, mm. it was fun at the beginning at Mikono Kwenye Hewa era. Yeah. Yeah. And then it just became oh, like hard and, and hard and hard and lots of rejection and lots of trying to figure it out mm. and lots of trying to build. Mm. So now being like, ah, Satuko, Dufum Pararo, Apani, fun. I love making art Kujibamba. Yeah. <laughs> As it Could you bump be? Because yeah. 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 you're going to make the best art if you're having fun making True. it. Yeah. yeah. But also not judging myself that mm. it has to be like meaningful and has to say something. It's like, nah. Yeah. Like a story. Like a lot of story. thinking it. And nah. that thing. Like a lot of people club. Well, I'm, 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 yeah. Yeah. And that thing. Like a lot of people are going to walk in. It's like when you walked in and she's like, okay, so I'm going to sit down yeah. and talk. And talk. Initially, yeah. we, we had pre-production meetings and then we cancelled them. Yeah. 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 Like, okay, okay, what, the pre-production yeah. meeting was more lit than the podcast. Yeah. 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 So now they were saying things openly and on the spot. So now we just sit down and on yeah. the podcast you try to remember we're Jana zero we literally just catch up okay, we're zero exactly. so now we just catch up you're like yeah. I maybe I've not seen you the whole week yeah. I'm seeing you on Sunday it's or maybe like, yeah, you're great. Yeah. it's like how was your week what do you, what, what do you think mm. happened in the week that you care about yeah. that yeah. you want yeah. people to know yeah. and then we just yeah. do it it's simple and there was also topics I put myself off limits like when I was younger I was just like hey I don't know sing about love you know the 20s yeah. is messy and chaotic girl it's we there girl, girl. <laughs> Lucky for us in our We 30s. are living in those <laughs> feet. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, I'm joking. You're still in the ghetto. He's You're in, in the ghetto. ghetto. In the Let me tell you in the ghetto. I'm still in the ghetto. Because the king got 30s. The deepest of feet than me and Moa. Hey, could have placed. Hey. No, I like. No, I like. In the feet. No, in the deepest of feet. I can tell it. I'm fine. I'm fine. I can call. I'm fine. I can call Mudoni. I'm like, sis. What the fuck is this? For me, the 20s was mess. I'm beginning to tell you. Okay, are you nice. are you Mostly releasing a therapy? Oh, that's wonderful. I started actively last year and then I stopped, but now I've gotten a nice specialist. Yeah. Oh, this is no. good. Yeah, yeah. So cool. that's his WhatsApp. Mm. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. No one taught us this shit when you're growing up. Too. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, also because for months, I was like, my insurance has therapy, so I'm also starting therapy. Oh, yeah. And I only knew that because months was like insurance. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Open my files. I'm like, hey, my insurance covers That's therapy. That's what's oh, up. Yeah, so I'm, I'm That's doing it. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, we, we can't say anything about Mariah. Mariah said she enjoys being bitter. I'm enjoying so being bitter. It's our wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got you. That's, That's what, what feminism is. Letting yeah. women do whatever they want. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's no, what feminism is. You literally answered yeah. two questions so I was going to ask. Yeah. Mm. So just yeah. to, to, no, no, to finish this yeah, yeah. So no, this sure. year, mm-hmm. but not just this year. So this year, next year for, for me, for one thing, they're one year. I don't know how to explain it. It's like also my conception of time has changed. After pandemic. Pandemic, yeah. Yeah, people don't realize we lost two whole years. Yeah, Mm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So something about the way I see time has definitely shifted. Also being a parent, there's something about how I see time. Mm. So I feel like this next two years, I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'm Mm. going to... Things that I had denied myself where I thought like, oh, I can't say this. I can't chat yeah. smack in a song. You can't talk about sex. You can't Mm. be sexy or you can't... You know. Tell them. I can't talk Chucksy, about being sexy and talking about dick are two different <laughs> things. Please don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. How do you walk into bah, your own trap? Yeah, listen, my too. I mean, it's just grease. Listen, in our oil two parts. <laughs> listen, yeah. we talk about sex, but you do it on air. You know it's different. Why? Yay! Because like, you should be comfortable to talk about it. To all the strangers that my dad watches this shit. Thanks. Do you know? We might literally be getting our first deal ever because of this. Dude, you spoke about it to the governor. (laughs) He's like... Amma is like... The fucking governor. Like me too. (laughs) So, we're at Shin City. So, let me give you context. So, we're at Shin City. Mm. Which is amazing. Nyashinsky is about to get on. Mm -hmm. But there's music playing, right? Mm -hmm. But there's the countdown. So, we're getting ready to get Nyash on stage. Mm -hmm. So, we can see the countdown. Then, guess what? Sakaja, no, so Silantoy walks in, mm. then we know Silantoy, so we say hi. Mm. Then Sakaja stops because they were together. So Sakaja is moving. I have how many? I, I have less than a minute to speak to Sakaja. I'm not trying to engage him in a concert when there's music. I like how you're so setting, I'm not going to ask Sakaja, oh, Lima. so, and this is, this is still campaigning. So, what do you, what, why do you want to be governor? No. No, why do you want like, to be governor? That would have been the moment for memorable. you to <laughs> ask. Quick, quick, quick. That is like, of course, and walks away because there's no mm. time to discuss things. The, bo- the bodyguards were shocked. So, I can imagine. But then the bodyguards were like, okay. <laughs> 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 like, I think Sakaja gave him that look like, no, he's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he has dreadlocks, but he's not a thief. <laughs> 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 
Uganda. Akolo ni Uganda. Oh my god. Wanna I think we'll have Sakaja for sure. We, we, I, I think, think he's a really know. interesting person. He, he, he and is, yeah. Genuinely, yeah. I mean, yeah. no politician is our friend and I know that, yeah. but I think that Sakaja, there's some good that he can be there doing. Good, there's yeah. some good he, he can be doing. Yeah. 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 So he, some good. I mean, yeah. I went for Nairobi Festival last yeah. year. Mm. For real, it was dope. Yes. It can only get better. Mm. And I'm like, if if you do nothing else and you do deliver make that. something for the creative yeah, make you know that. for creatives yeah. that, kitu umefanya, mm. and so give him his props for that yeah, yeah. i i believe i yeah. believe for him mm. so i have one last question mm. then if you have questions no mudoni had a question can... for us yeah so okay, cool. save that for last so one question then mudoni then we do our mini so yeah. we'll finish this episode then we'll oh, do this a full episode, episode. Yeah. Yeah, yeah then okay. we'll do a mini sod okay uh, so where we'll talk now about stories from around the world yeah gotcha. we it's not about mudoni so cuz this is to me very personal to me and yeah. I care about this so much and think I've told you before perform music in Kibeta. Yeah. So talk to us about what perform is and yeah. what you've done yeah. and yeah. where you want to go yeah. and where you think we guys yeah. can plug in and support. Mm. Fantastic. Those years I've spent uh, ping-ponging between Nairobi and Switzerland and then now the access that Switzerland gave us to the rest of Europe I was mm. like damn. Sawa ndio wasaniwa kona talent nini but pia kuna professionals mm. you know like when you are doing that festival circuit you're just finding like 50 something year olds mm. those are the guys the who are like backstage mm. and those are the people who are the artist handlers mm. i'm wow. like oh shit i know it sounds i don't know how it sounds but mm. i'm not surprised to meet a 60 year old banker somebody who has been in banking mm. their whole life oh, yeah. okay okay you see what i mean like but in entertainment yeah. yeah at 50 right? 60 years old yeah. like what you're standing Yeah. Or like, oh, you guys, you're the festival director. Yeah. Nice. Or you're a curator. And Mm. so you you work with multiple festivals. Mm. You work with like 10 festivals during the summer and you're the one who does like curation Mm. and bookings. Maybe bookings as well. You see what I mean? I met music industry professionals who are not volunteers or youngins. Mm. That's what they do. This is what you do. This is what you've been doing. This is how you've raised your family. Mm. This yeah, is that's your, your profession. Bread, Which also means mastery. You've mastered what yeah. you yeah. do. You're, so you're good at it. So I really admired that and I was like, hey, yeah. mm. how, how can you end up with professionals mm. long? Like they, mm. they didn't exit this thing until when they got to now 40. Mm. They're like, okay, now yeah, I need I'm, to grow I'm, I'm up. Over it. I Then now I need to go stuff. and... What's your son? I need to the apartments. I need to go You know? Mm. <laughs> hey. Ninunue shamba, mm. eh, kangundo road or whatever. You know, like these are people <laughs> who stay. Eh, hey. <laughs> you know. I'm gonna chill, the, chill out, bro. Can you know my dad? <laughs> chill out. Kuna ito ajid, Joska. Yeah, Joska. Oh my God. Like, and and no shade, no shade. Of course you yeah. can buy, but it's yeah. like, it should be as an investment, not because you're leaving the industry, because mm. there's nothing mm. for you. So just that exposure to yeah. professionals, who are older, guys in their 50s, in their 60s, and this and is their still. profession, and they're so good at it, and it's a real-life thing. Mm. It made me realize, like, oh, you as a festival curator, there is a life for you. Like, mm. at 70, it yeah. can be just the way an actor, like Denzel mm. didn't die because now he's 60. True. Yeah. Yes. So that, that thing really, it changed Sorry. my perspective. It made okay. me wonder, what is the trajectory of Blaze? for example. Mm. In, when Blaze is 50, he should even be more networked and more shout powerful. Shout out to Buddha Blaze. And, you know, yeah. shout out to Buddha Blaze. That's a yeah. person who's put his life into this thing. Yeah. He lives so, it every yeah, single day. Yeah, you yeah. know, Rashid, uh, the, the Mareks, the Justines, mm. the Chaxis. I was just like, there should be a way that this thing Lives on. becomes yeah. a thing. Yeah. The yeah. Dennis's of, mm. you know, Kaka Empire. I'm like, this mm. should be a thing. The Dennis, mm. man. The this should be a thing. Life. This should be a thing. Honestly. Isn't Marek? This, this is a thing. This is a thing. So how do you develop professionals? Yeah. So then I, I looked here and there's nowhere. There's nowhere you can go to learn how to be like a, 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 a talent Artist manager, manager. Yeah. for the industry. There's Fox. nowhere. Mm. You don't even have an acting school. Honestly. <laughs> you know people think it is acting is just those things talent no of course it's cool they go it's technique mo- all our best actors have mm. studied acting most yeah. of their lives yeah, yeah. it's technique it. it's technique yeah, it's technique, it's technique. Things, yeah. so that really caught me of like yo there's no industry without professionals yeah, you have really. to you have to build the professionals for you to have an industry yeah. mm. so that was the first piece the second piece was you know this thing that we would do in Switzerland which I I didn't know and I didn't know what I didn't know so um, you have a series of shows that's coming up. Mm. You 
then spend like two weeks in, again, let me say, 4040. Mm. It's a club that's set up as a venue. You can hire it. Mm. And from nine to nine mm. every day for like 14 days, we're just working on the show. Yeah. The, th- the thing already has sound, has lighting, etc. So our dancers, so we are just working on the show. Yeah. And I'd, I'd never had that experience. And when I'd watch, you know, the CDs, the DVDs of artists on tour, Madonna, Beyonce, yeah. I was always like, how, how do they know that she's exactly there for the lighting engineer to do that mm-hmm. thing that they caught at exactly that point? That and then, moment, you know, yeah. how come the screen knows to talk to the lighting? Mm. How come these two things don't clash? But yeah. when I go for a gig in Nairobi, it's, it's just noise. I'm just DJ, thinking like, DJ, lights that I'm just not making any volume. sense. What the screen, the there's no like effect. <laughs> like, what happens? Yeah, yeah the yeah. difference is, Rehearsal. Mm. Synchronities. You, you, could, you could use the word synchronity as well. Or Taxi. Okay. It's synchronity you award. Can, you yeah. can't teach Kudoni. She's it's the coming, teacher here. Yeah. It's synchronity yeah. award. It's the question. It's the question. Synchronicity. <laughs> This is the episode in Yemekona, the most English. Chaksi and I feel like this. Bro, I'm not shy. You know the way Thing, like even this show, uh, I mean, we yeah. come from here. When I'm speaking to us, maybe we're mm. talking Shanghai, but in the mm. show, we try to speak as much we can as in English yeah, because true. we're not making a show for global Kenya. audience. Yeah. We're making a show for the whole world. Global like, why, why should I limit the show to Kenya when we can reach the whole world? Global true. audience, yeah. I agree with nah, you. This yeah. episode yeah. can take us straight to Harvard. Facts. I mean, I'm a TED fellow. I'm just going to share it with my TED net. If you all maximize, we'll be in sync. I'll minimize this. We'll be synchroning, Basia. Took a synchronic. So, back to you. I thought you look at no one getting in band. Oh, you're talking about the broad professionals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's stage is coordinated and worked as one piece. Also, that's the first time I knew what a light engineer does. Switzerland is when I knew a light engineer does what. I did not know. So, okay, watch show ya Beyonce, whatever, Jesus, we know nanga. Like, Shit, lighting ni mood. True. Mm-hmm. Like, ni mood, it's a whole thing. Yeah. Nini, it adds to your feeling. True. I didn't know that that's what lighting is meant to do. It's a language. Mm-hmm. So there's one thing to know the lighting board and like how to arrange lights. It's another thing to know the music, to know like when to what drop. Moment. That color True. affects mood. That mm-hmm. if you want it to feel this way when you're doing something dark and heavier, that mm-hmm. blues work. Lights, when you're hey, here, like, the, yeah. I did not know none of that stuff. So I watched that. I learned in doing. So we would we do our rehearsal. There's mm. always something filming. Then we go and watch it. Mm. And I to make sense. Our lighting engineer is called John. John is like, at this song, please make sure you're at here because. And then mm. he's like, yes, keep this lower action because I can apply to you from down. I didn't know none of that. Wow. And I was like, now. So then, of course, when we go and perform, our show is a Ferrari, right? Mm. Like mm. for real. If you check our stuff, like a Red Bull. That's the fastest F1 car. Fantastic. <laughs> our car is a Red Bull. Mm. Ka- shout out to Red Bull. Shout out to Shout Red Bull. out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's true though. No, no, but it's true though. He's a Mercedes. But it's true though. That's the fastest car ever in F1. The I'm true a Mercedes. Car. Too. That's a, yeah. <laughs> even, even when Louis said it, they, they have the fastest car. So now, <laughs> the challenge there for me was like, Easy to name a drawer. A kuna venya ninge drawer, Nairobi nike. There's no amount of rehearsal. True, that would have been to know that. That would have taught me that. Mm, mm, so true. it's just a knowledge gap. Mm, like, okay. that what was needed was someone to fill that knowledge gap for yeah, me. And right? That's it. Mm. So and I was like, oh, how do we get to do these things? When we're in Switzerland, you can write a proposal mm. to basically the equivalent of Naivas. Mm. And they, they, all organizations have some culture money. So many mm. parts to grant. Mm. Oh, I'm going to show. You need to rehearse the show. Yes, here's some money to rehearse the show. Nice. So then you can hire the venue and you can pay your sound engineer or your lighting engineer to be yeah. there with you for 14 mm. days. Mm-hmm. 
So the thing blew me my mind away and I was like indeed we must It have this thing happen. in Nairobi. Yeah. So I was always talking to my colleague Flora. She was like right this thing. Shout Flora. Flora. Is she around? I haven't seen her Flora since. Flora is now the COVID. the the director of Alliance Francaise in Dar es Salaam. Nice. Nice. Okay, so she's she's away. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. She she done bust up. Uh, we, we should send a pack of cigarettes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's stopped. Flora. Over real. Flora, 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 Flora stopped. Flora, oh man. I shout out to Flora. Flora. Shout out to Flora. I mean, I'm shout out to Flora. I'm like, I don't know her. Shout out to Flora. Make sure many of you are connected. Yeah. Flora was my eye opener. So Flora is yeah. French. Flora is a culture bay. Mm -hmm. Someone who's worked in culture and development of culture oh, nice. since she was like 25. Yeah. She's the first person who I worked with who I was like, I didn't know and I didn't know that I didn't know. Mm. Or like you, your tr this is your training, it's your design, yeah. it's the way you think. Literally. And you are in your 40s, I was in my 30s and she's in her 40s. Uh, and I was like, wow. oh, I didn't know such people exist. Mm. Right. So that really put a lot, my personal experiences put a lot of hunger Mm. to make that happen here. Then when we dropped She in 2018 here, everyone, my contemporaries, young artists were like, you need to be our mentor. We need mm. to be able to do a show like that. That was so amazing. This is the Alchemist show? Yes. Okay. In my head, I was like, you know what? First, that was not our best show. Yeah. Mm. But of number course, yeah. two, sure. the thing that you're seeing, so many of you in my head are way, way. better artists than I am. Mm. What you need is somebody to underwrite your cost of getting good. Mm. Somebody needs to underwrite that cost for you to work with a, a music director to yeah. learn how to do the right set listing, True. for example. Nobody has told you that a set is meant to be this a way, movement this way, of way. emotion. Yeah. You're always working towards climax, but you don't, it's not this thing that we start at a slow to maximum mm. or maximum, minimum, then the try max, to maximum. Then. It's a wave of emotion. This True. is how to build, you know, emotion and look at all these like mm. different examples yeah. to see how to build. You don't use your dancers the whole time. Like every mm. song has to have something like different. spectacular about it. What are those visual cues that you give to audiences are not audio. All this stuff that I didn't know, mm. I learned in Switzerland. So I was like, if I could build a system in which artists can access this information mm. and I can underwrite the cost of them learning this mm. thing. It's everything. Yeah, can I convince somebody to give me money to do this mm. work? Yeah. And this is, then Flora was like, write that proposal, write that proposal. Then we wrote mm. the proposal and it was right on time when the Gotha Institute wanted to try this thing called, you know, creative cultural mm. industries. Mm. If you finance some cool ideas, and this is how we got our first grant for Perform. Mm. So we ran the first three cohorts. We trained 105 artists, managers, nice. publicists, event producers, mm. sound engineers, light engineers. And I was music producers. And I was like, oh my God, this is a thing. Mm. Then now we are doing because the demand for it. Mm. People just yeah, don't know where to get Yeah, but also the skill gap. Really. When you see the skill gap just happening, like that tish, I can't tell you how many times at the festival mm. you're at soundtrack, mm. and artists are doing soundtrack, and you know for a fact that the artists doesn't know what they are doing, and you feel a lot of compassion because now you've never really been in an. You don't. You're at soundtrack, mm. but what does soundtrack mean? Truly, oh, okay. You're just used to gigs where we're not going to Sound check, yeah, you figured out so how to say, maneuver. So when you say yes, exactly. True. When you're saying you as an artist, you listen to music. This thing over here on stage, this thing is called a monitor. This is where you're meant to hear yourself mm. from. It sounds stupid. Mm. But the truth is, if you've never had that experience, how do you know? Truly. Mm. A thing called an in-ear monitor that it doesn't have to be that one. If you've never trained with an in-ear monitor, how mm. will you know? I would have never known what half-life means until I was mm. in an environment where it's like, oh, that's the thing. So half-life isn't just like taking a track and then like just playing drums on top yeah. or it comes elements. Oh, okay, this is or optimizing tracks for, mm. for live performance because mm. the way you optimize for like recording is different for the way you optimize for live. I would have never known that. There's no way I could have learned that here. Truly. So we got the grant, we did the first uh, 105, it was great, various outcomes. Then I said, okay, now I want step two of the experiment, which is what we are doing now, perform yeah. incubator phase two. Yeah. Could you take a number of artists, so filter a number of artists, mm. and write their making music. So go to, pick your dream producers, we're going to pay for the music to be made, right? Um, we're also going to bring in a bunch of professionals so you can do some in-depth work at this idea of brand because yeah. artist is not brand. Music is part of brand. It's not their brand. Yeah. Could we build out this thing called brand because brand speaks to career, the longevity of your thing. Uh -huh. 
could we commercialize mm. this brand? Then could you build an apprentice program for managers, event producers, and publicists? Could they work under somebody who really knows what they're doing to mm. support artists to produce these real-life outcomes? Mm. So if we're giving Chaxi money to make music, mm. and you are the publicist, <laughs> and you are the manager, first, can we give you a stipend? Yeah. So you're salaried, so you don't need to be like struggling. Yeah. So you can now give your full commitment to Chaxi, step sense. one, yeah. right? Yeah. Step two, now can you say to Chaxi, this music that you're producing, our job is to make sure that it actually gets to market the way it's meant to. And this brand that you're building, can we ensure that it commercializes? Right? So Chaxi plays his role as artist. You, you play your role as manager. You, you play as as a publicist. Then the event producer is your activator. What Mm. is it? Is it a signing? Is it a meet and greet? Mm. Is it a club appearance? Mm. Is it a show that you want to design? Having the person who activates the brand. Mm. Who is in charge of your experiential on ground? And our hypothesis that we are testing is that if you facilitate these people, Mm. everybody, you give everybody a stipend so that they can breathe, and then you put the right professionals with these people so they can develop the skill set, then you give this thing time. Truly. We can produce some self-sustaining stars mm. who are enterprises. Mm. Literally, that's what Butrus actually said. Yep. Crazy. So that's what we are doing with performing Kibeta Phase Two. Love there's it. myself, there's Mayonde and Polaris. Mm-hmm. We can. We are making music with the producers of our dreams, mm. the nice. Dillies, the Blinkies, mm. the Kagwes, mm. the Wodomolos, mm. the mm. Soso Freshes. What the what? So fresh. So fresh. <laughs> Um, and then we are commercializing mm. these, these brands. And nice. so I'm really excited to see what happens with phase two. Yeah. I've also given myself the permission to just know, like, it's also an experiment you're For doing by learning. Yeah. Even you've never done perform to before. Grow and learn. You know, so allow there are going to be some things you, you, you maybe, don't know. Yeah, you didn't think so well. And that's through. fine. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. progress over perfection. Mm. And, and, and at the end of this year, uh, we should produce, you know, in this year, we are producing the hottest songs in Kenya. Yes! That's the mission. Our candles are lit for you. You have been able to do. Yeah. So you're shooting. So they've taken that model of yeah. making um, episodes, weekly episodes for Mnet. And so yeah. they're like, oh, creating on demand. Mm. And they're like, right. So we can take this, Kurumiyazi. make our films. Mm. Exactly. Make we can make our game. films. Yeah. Distribute our own films. Mm. Right? So with uh, the first show, Film GLL, Grand mm. Little Lie. Yeah, yeah. Grand Little Lie. They they basically broke even yeah. in the first week between the opening mm. uh, yep. weekend at mm. the movies mm. and consumers buying tickets of 200 it's... shillings yes. to yeah. watch a link on their own distribution platform. So then yeah. they didn't wait for Netflix to come and break yeah. them off. Yeah. Yep. Buy. Otherwise, they would never have done that movie. But... So in Wikwan, they broke an event, which yeah. means the money that we put in, we have acquired, yeah. right? So if they only had one other week of yeah. making even half of what, of what they, they needed to break yeah. even, yeah. you now have your money to reinvest in the in next, the next film. film. And also buy some so, nice shoes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and also yeah. put together the events for the community. Yeah. So I'm like, Mr. Wash Wash, go talk to Abel and film and ask what would it need for us to put to out a film a every film. three months. Yes. Mm-hmm. Don't even change what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Just every three months is something that's going to market. Mm-hmm. Every three months is something that's going to market. Mm-hmm. Because also what happens is we change consumer behavior. Yeah. Every three months, there's yeah, a Kenyan something. film we are yeah. watching. Yeah. It's not two Kenyan films a year. I'm you like, see what Whoa. I mean? With the same seven that's, characters. That's <laughs> yeah. You don't even have a scene. You see what I mean? It's not even and, unseen. Thank you. And that's just one director, yeah. production combination. Go do the same with give Wanori some money, mm. give Mbithi some money, mm. yeah. give. So we are saying in a year, there was. Mm. 20, 30 Kenyan films. Kenyan films. films. We can even do an awards now. That was yeah. fire. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and the people were consuming a two sock, three sock, five sock. Yeah. The combined a G, depending whether you went, yep. watched it in the movies or when they watched it on a yeah. link. Every of those movies is employing a yeah. hundred plus folks. People. That's true. Between hospitality, security, mm. gaffers, lighting, editors. Mm, true. The thing is starting to move now pull out a little bit. Since the same people of Wash Wash mm, are the same out. people in government, mm. now go to the government side and say, okay, for the next three years, mm. what is the incentive that we can offer? Don't give them money. What is a barrier we can remove? Yeah. Mm. 
whether it's in policies, yeah. whether it's in policy, it whether it's in to access, access to rooms, yeah. just what is the thing that we can yeah. do that doesn't break nothing, nothing. off our back? It took yeah. nothing away from us. It doesn't inconvenience you, you know what either. I mean? Yeah. It changed yeah. nothing by being able to it's give like this thing. It's just like saying filming in government property is now free. Free. Done. Yes. Filming anywhere yeah, in the city case, is see. free. Oh. Done, 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 yeah. done. Just book and it's mm. done, right? Mm. Any scene you want, done. Yeah. Right? You want a boardroom. Done. Taifa Hall is always available for you. You want to pray at State House. Done. You have a class in State House. Like literally, yeah. there's a section of state house you can film at, yeah. right? Yeah, that, yeah. There's a section of state house that you can film at, you mm. know, like mm. done. Mm. It's small, small things, and you look. It's this haba na haba. When yeah. you pull out, it's like ten years, and it's like shit. We have a film industry. No, 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 no. That's Nollywood. Makes sense for the government. That's Nollywood. Honestly, yeah. by the way. That's Nollywood. Because yeah. yeah. Nollywood will go into a movie classic. Yes. What? Nollywood. More of them like right up. But you see now, what happens hey. is. Uh, that category or the industry grows. Yes. Because sir. there's more. And Look then at Nollywood really. starts getting refining and refining and, and refining. Yes. Yeah. Really. Because in the same Nollywood where there's a Bonoko director, there's mm. also this person who's, who's been building this like, incredible mm. script. Ukweli. So pole 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 pole, the thing is refining. Mm. The Nollywood budgets mm. that they're getting from uh, Netflix Africa yeah. are not insane. what our Kenyan no. directors oh. are getting. Right. It's evident. Come on. It's yeah. evident. Look at the movies. Look at the, Every look at the day quality of what's up, coming out from Nollywood. Yeah. Nollywood film on but Netflix. But also really well done. Mm. That's the difference. And you That's know, it. and it really makes well sense done. even for the government. Why, why would you charge if, let's say, uh, Kenya Film Commission says mm. um, we have waived fees for licenses for filming? It means instead of me charging Mariah 10k for a license to film something, mm. I can let her make the movie. Yeah. Then when she makes money, she's gonna give me a hundred k in taxes. That's yeah. it. And it makes that's sense. fine. That, that's much better mm. because now you have a taxpayer. The taxpayer's yeah. life is much longer than exactly. the license that we yeah. have made on the one-off. Mm. Mm. So uh, th this is kind of harm. Like it's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah and then yeah. So moral of the story is, <laughs> Mr. Washos, kindly call us, please. <laughs> We 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 have a laundry machine. <laughs> Mambo Guys, you know, I don't know. Mambo we, were, we were discussing. Mambo if you, if you Mambo watch us, I'll just see a thing. It's Kirava as Mambo 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 this is the Parga Podcast. This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. The Mics are cool. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs>